have had some bold moves to create flexibility and go younger. Anthony Simon said, we've been very resilient and we're sticking with it. All tied together, feeding off of each other, playing free, playing loose, playing hard. And that's all we need. Guys, back to you. Well, he's been a big part of it, Allie. Thanks a lot. The middle part of the season can present some unique challenges. Grant, how do you maintain your focus as a player? Well, it can be tough. It can be really challenging because it is such a long season. You ultimately have to keep your eyes on the prize. And of course, veterans know hard work now pays off later. You want to protect your record and start building late season momentum. Let's take a look at our starters for the Golden State Warriors. Curry and Thompson pair up at the one and the two. Then there's Draymond Green. Then it's Andrew Wiggins. And for the Trailblazers. Murray out there with Jeremy Grant. Then there's Anthony Simons. Then it's DeAndre Ayton. And the Trailblazers start out with the ball. Simons outside. Pass to Murray. Back to Simons. Five on the clock. And blocked. That one goes careening off the glass. And they get it back. And it's out of bounds to the Trailblazers as Portland retains possession. And the fans love seeing incredible moments on defense like that block. And that kind of rejection early on energizes your squad. The coaching staff just loves this kind of hustle. Grant outside. Grant can't get that one to fall. Thompson against Simons. Wiggins outside. From the top of the key. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Yeah, you never want to let shots at the rim go uncontested. At the line for the Warriors, Jackson Davis. Two shots. First one falls, and Grant, so much young talent for the Warriors. Many said they should trade for veterans, but they resisted. And they won a title anyways. I mean, with the salary cap perhaps their greatest obstacle, having contributors on cost-controlled rookie contracts sure helps. Second free throw, no good. And year in and year out, there's one thing we know for certain about the Blazers. They've got some of the best fans in the NBA. Simon's shot is good. Just taking it right to the rim, and no one was there to greet him. Easy possessions like that literally are just a gift. You just dream of them. He'll gladly take those. Now here's Wiggins. Doing some damage on the offensive end. Putting up a little over 14 points a game. And the shot goes in. And how about the fan base in Portland? They're passionate, and they really understand the game. That's so true, B.A. I mean, even in lean years, they come out to support their club. And when they're on top, all of Rip City gets caught up in the buzz. Portland's a great basketball town. Here's Murray following the score by Golden State. He's off on that one. Excellent D there from Wiggins. Still very early, but that's not the start they want. One for five shooting. With the drive. Boom! He jams it straight down. Yeah, stunning play by Wiggins. Speeding inside and just rocketing up to the hoop. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. Murray for three. That one goes. Now he's one for two. He's consistent from out there, especially when you give him that kind of room. Wiggins outside. Outside Curry. From deep. It's not going to go for him. And it's Portland the other way. Oh, 
Pass to Henderson. Now Murray. Here's Simons. The offensive rebound. Aiden. And there's two. Work on the glass, paying off that time. I mean, come on. A seven-footer with a 7-5 wingspan. Aiden beats everyone to the ball and converts easily. Now here's Thompson. Not a good performance from him in that loss to Oklahoma City. Outside Curry. Down to five on the shot clock. From deep. On target from range. Simply the greatest shooter we have ever seen. Every time he makes another three-pointer, he's adding to the record. Here's Henderson. 35 points his last game. And so ball out of bounds. Thompson touched it last. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. Out to the right wing. Here's Murray. Now, since he was traded to Golden State in 2020, Wiggins has become a very capable defender. The officials were right on top of that one. When you talk about a basketball family, Jeremy Grant's father was a pro, his uncle, his brothers. I mean, plenty of competition growing up. Shooting two. That one falls for Grant. And even though Jeremy grew up around the game, you know, success wasn't handed to him, Grant. Not at all. I mean, he was a second-round pick out of Syracuse. And he's really had to prove himself as an NBA player. He has truly come a long way. And so Grant nails them both. First quarter of play and just over three and a half minutes in. Thompson outside. Pass to Wiggins. Outside Curry. Wiggins outside over Murray. Wiggins no good. See that miss, that miss right there. It's why teams try to avoid the mid-range jumper these days. And Aiton with the stuff. Excellent timing by Aiden on the alley you pass. He's perfectly positioned to throw it down. Golden State calls timeout. Last time they met in San Francisco. The last time out, they barely captured a win against this team. And it came down to some key turnovers. Well done, everyone. Your Blazers youth dance team. Just a love fan. And it's the Warriors with the ball. It's a three-point game. Let's it go from deep. And again, no good by Golden State. Portland has gone one or two from three-point land so far. Simons outside. Pass to Murray. Beyond the arc. It's rebounded by Golden State. I'd like to see him a bit more efficient. He has not been great this quarter. Murray against Wiggins. The three from Thompson. Pure from three-point range. Thompson's got his second bucket on the night. What poise from Thompson. Not allowing for any distractions from his shot. Here's Murray. That shot off the mark. Excellent D there from Wiggins. Okay, so if I were to say this was a disaster of a period for him, it would be an understatement. But hey, sometimes you've got to shoot your way out of the slump, even for him. And the Blazers had been a mainstay of the playoffs for so long up until last year. Yeah, B.A., they ended an eight-year streak by missing the playoffs. The franchise has had a lot of sustained success. They missed the playoffs just 15 times in their 50-plus years. And that one falls for Curry. Perhaps the greatest shooter the game has ever seen. Curry continues to age like fine wine. And so Curry nails both of them. 
For a star like him, you get lots of opportunities at the line, and he's great at cashing them in. Murray passes to Graham, and here's Simons. Portland, no good that time either. Green up top is covered by Aiton. Pass to Wiggins. He's covered by Grant. Four on the clock. Puts it up from 12. And again, no good by Golden State. Portland trailing here. Aiden with it. Last game, he had 28 points. And the foul called on Draymond Green. That's his first foul. Personal foul. Second team foul. Here's Henderson. He's covered by Curry. Pass to Aiden. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. Yes, yeah, so strong. Aiden and one. And when Aiden isn't playing basketball, either the live or video game version, he's often drawing. Yeah, I mean, he grew up wanting to be an architect. I actually hear that he loves blueprints. But probably his most famous sketch himself dunking on Joel Embiid his rookie year. That's good from Aiden. Yeah, what I appreciate about Aiden is that he wants to keep getting better. You have to be excited about his future. Curry passes to Wiggins. Back to Curry. Wiggins outside. Hey, great D that time from Grant. Bashes the bucket play like you expect him to make. It's tough when you miss those. Have the space there, but it's offline. So far, rebounding has been a focal point for them. And there's the foul. It's on DeAndre Ayton. That's his first foul of the game. And there's just one foul now away from the penalty. Thompson outside. Back to Curry. The three ball. And the Warriors miss again. Portland leading. Outside Murray. Out to the right wing. Simons outside. From outside the arc. And it's cleared by Stephen Curry. This has not been his best quarter. Yeah, he needs to mix things up on the offense. He simply just can't keep missing shots at this rate because he's destroying his teammates. Yeah, put your head down and go to work. That's what they need to do. Yeah, when the game is up for grabs like this one has been, it's all about the attention to detail. Timeout called. Portland defeated by Milwaukee in their last game. They'll try to put that one behind them. And guys, it really was a thrilling duel all the way to the end. You hated to see anyone walk away the loser. A loss is a loss, but some of them hurt more than others. You just hope the extended overtime minutes didn't zap their energy for this game. And the Blazers making a change here. Williams is checked in. And Golden State also making a switch. Paul, he's checked in for Curry. Thompson against Simons. Here's Henderson. And he can't bank that one in. Look like he just rushed it there. Just maybe take a little bit more time in the future. From 10 feet away. And he makes it. And now a three-point warrior lead. The wily vet Paul able to score down low. Pass to Henderson. Oh, and the jam by Aiton. Oh, great teamwork right there. Hey, you got to love the finish. Bringing it down with some attitude. Back to Paul. Outside, green. The kick out to Wiggins. And the Warriors get it back. Back to Green. Pass to Paul. And he converts the layup. And the Warriors lead by three. When they get their opportunity to punch it inside, they don't hesitate. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. 
Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. And here's Grant from the arc. And that looks green. like an illegal pick was set. That gets the ref's attention. And that's his second foul committed with a lot of game left. Gotta be careful. The Trailblazers making a switch here. Brogdon's checked in. Paul passes to Thompson. Green against Hayden. It's Wiggins on the wing. And that one's good. And Green with the assist. Wiggins has got five points. Incredible passer at his position. Green is especially good at getting it to the open teammate. Simons outside. Elbow shot. And good as it takes a nice bounce off the right iron and down. Simons has gotten his second bucket. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. Yeah, as soon as these guys feel contact, they are just disappearing like they're not even there. You gotta show some fire and keep defending. Here's Wiggins. It's rebounded by Grant. Grant's got his fifth rebound in this one. And imagine how good they'll look if he can start to chip in a bit more offensively. The Warriors leading. He's covered by Aiden. Outside Paul. Six on the shot clock. Over Brogdon. And Paul gets it to go. He has six. And we talk about the importance of versatility. He's really got it all on the offensive end. Pass to Graham. And there's a minute 45 left to play in the first quarter. Trailblazers got to hurry. Got to get up a shot. Hits the three-pointer. Love watching Brogdon make the right reads. He's more than capable of converting catch-and-shoot opportunities. Wiggins outside. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. And I think Andrew Wiggins is a great example of how positions have changed. Came into the league playing a lot of the two. Now, we see him at times playing a bunch at the four. Taking two shots. That free throw misses. And for Wiggins, he'll play the stretch four at times. Grant, he's extremely versatile. And B.A., that shows just how the game has evolved. Wiggins is a traditional small forward, but we've seen that push to small ball, shifting Andrew to the four and even the five during stretches. And he can't get the second one to drop either. Coming up empty that time. Yeah, the first overall pick in 2014, Andrew Wiggins has carved out a nice career as a scoring wing. I think he caught the defense napping. Those plays can be soul-crushing. Now here's Simons. He's coming off a 13-point game against Milwaukee. Pass to Aiden. Over Green. Aiden, no good. Golden State has gone three of seven from beyond the arc in the first. There's 47 seconds left in the first. Here's Wiggins. It's rebounded by Grant. Grant's got six rebounds here tonight. Shoots over Thompson. And Grant gets it to go. Not going to get a much better look than that. And the Warriors shooting with confidence in this one. 48% in the first quarter. Grant against Wiggins. And here's Thompson for three. Another three for Golden State. Three yeah, they've done quality work on the offensive glass. Ball against Brogdon. Going inside. Paul's a pesky defender, no doubt about it. And so it's the Golden State Warriors with a six-point lead at the close of the quarter. And their defense has stood out. Re it's dance time in Portland. Here. And for those of you just tuning in, 
Second quarter action is where we are. And from what we've seen here from the Warriors, what's your take so far? Well, it seems like they went in looking to do damage from long range, and they faced little resistance. Their points came almost exclusively from beyond the arc, and as this game continues, that should open up the floor for the rest of their offense. Golden State has gone four of eight from three, a nice percentage. So on the floor for Golden State to kick off the second quarter. Kaminga is out there with Klay Thompson. Then there's Chris Paul. Then there's Draymond Green. Portland trailing here. Knocked away. And it's going to be out of bounds. Portland will have another go. Aiden against Green. Pass to Henderson. And the foul called on Draymond Green. That's foul number two for him. That's his second foul here pretty early in this one. He's got to be careful for the rest of this half. Outside Murray. Here's Henderson. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Here's Aiton. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the Warriors. At the line for your trailblazers, DeAndre Eaton. At the line for one. That's good from Aiden. Well, Richard, as a former player yourself, what's your take on stars demanding trades and jumping around the league so much? It's tough because I've seen the other thing happen to stars. Blake Griffin re-signs with the Clippers. They show him videos of putting his jersey in the rafters, and then he's traded a year later. So I think everybody has to figure out what is best for them, but you also have to try as an individual and as a professional to fulfill your obligations. And I think trades can be someplace in the middle of them. And it's Simons missing. Golden State has gone four of nine so far from the perimeter. Outside Paul. Thompson outside. Back to Paul. Let's go with a three. Ooh, he's locked in. Drains his fifth shot in his many attempts. By no means a volume three-point shooter. Paul picks his spots and is very accurate. Pass to Henderson. Here's Aiden. Here's Henderson. He's guarded by Paul. Second quarter of play with around two minutes gone so far. Let's it fly. Off target. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. They're having a hard time with fouls. It's still early, but one more and they'll be over the limit. Green against Aiden. Outside Murray. Simons outside. Just three to shoot. Fires for three. Rebounded by Chris Paul. And I'm surprised that didn't go down. I mean, I'm sure he is too. To the inside. Lays it up and banks Chris it in. Paul. And now it's a 10-point Warrior lead. Look, they are in front right now because of time him. Out, he out. keeps striking these shots at a ridiculous out. clip. Timeout called. The Blazers. Things just aren't going their way. He clearly wants to talk it over. Good timeout if you ask me. They have the momentum, and Coach wants to find a way to try and stop it.
to the paint. Pass to Graham. That one falls. His second make in five attempts. Credit their discipline. They've been working for high percentage shots. And here's Paul. 13 points in the game. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. It goes on Jeremy Grant. So good at drawing contact. CP uses his smarts to get to the line. Chris Paul, two shots. That's good from Paul. And the leadership Paul brings to this team is so incredibly important. His teammates really rally behind him. So hits one and misses one at the line. Grant, when you see players make that leap from star to superstar, think about guys like Giannis and Jason Tatum. I mean, what is that step like? You did it. Well, it's interesting. You know, you come into the league and, and, and you have success right away. But at some point, everything just clicks. It could be year four, year five, year six, usually in that window where now you figure things out and now you take that next step and become elite. Now, B.A., you know, I'm hoping that things start to click with me and my golf game. It's been about four <laughs> or five years there, too. Superstar status is not in the cards for you. On the golf course. <laughs> now the Warriors with it. They've gone on a 10-2 run, not allowing much. Knocks it loose. Now the Blazers on the move. Here's Simons. It's rebounded by Golden State. Green's got five rebounds in the game. Let's just say his subpar shooting is just one reason why they are trailing in this ball game. Paul passes to Green. Shot clock at five. Outside Paul. Oh, nice step back to create some space. Paul's got 16 points now. There's that poise we talk about with Paul. Not rushing anything with the clock up against him. Now Murray. In his last outing, he had 11 points. Back to Simons. Portland again missing. Golden State is gone 5 of 10 from beyond the three-point line in this game. Here's Paul. The basket's good. Off the assist from Thompson. Paul's got 12 now in this quarter. Their ball movement on this run has been tremendous. It's led to a lot of good, clean, open looks. Here's Murray. Another shot. And they're going to count that bucket, and they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. He got in excellent position, then takes it right back up. Curry, he's checked in for Chris Paul. Murray, shooting one. Free throw drops from Murray. Here's Curry. He's got five. Thompson outside. Puts up a three. And Aiden pulls it down. Portland has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Pass to Simons. Murray with it. Fires the three. Offensive board. And Aiton with the stuff. And this is how dynamic Aiton can be on the offensive end. Keep getting him the ball, timeout, please. Timeout. And the Warriors call time here. Last game matched up with the Thunder. Tough loss there. 
Defensively, they weren't up to the task. Didn't play as a cohesive unit, and it really hurt them. Boy, they looked like they were asleep on that end of the floor. No one was talking. No one was paying attention. Yeah, it was rough. Ready to make some noise for your Blazer Dancer. Blazers on deep. Trailing by 10. Curry passes to Green. They might start using him a little bit more sparingly with three fouls already before the half. Second team foul. Six to shoot. Outside Curry from the arc. And Aiden pulls it down. Aiton's got rebound number 11. Pass to Simons. Looking to get it going. And the Blazers getting another bucket right there. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. Thompson outside. Outside Curry. Now Thompson. it from three he's got five when all the attention clay gets it can lead to open looks for others nice decision pass to murray grant outside here's henderson off the mark there with a three golden state has gotten six of 13 shots to go from outside the arc and there's the lob Trying to go for a lob there. Excellent defense and anticipation to stop it. Murray against Thompson. Here's Henderson. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Just four to shoot. Pass to Simons. There's the three. The Warriors pull it in. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. The way he's struggling this quarter, he's only adding to their troubles. They need his offense to come around. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Murray for three. Misses the mark there. Just two for ten for the game. Just an ugly show for him offensively. Yep, no way to describe it. Just ugly, and that hasn't helped. And the basket is good. Curry's got seven points. How do you stop Curry? Well, in a short answer, you can't. Simons outside. Pass to Aiden. Now Graham. Excellent D there from Kuminga. So much to say about Draymond's game. Tough to say anyone else in the league has a larger impact on their team on both sides of the floor. And Portland shooting at about 34% here in this game. Here's Simons. And there's the slam dunk to finish it off. Oh, I love this guy. Even when they're trailing, he works hard to put on a show. Hey, that might be just what they need right now. Puts one up from 19. Count that bucket. He's got seven. And Richard, the weight that Draymond carries for this team can't be forgotten. The impact he has on the defense alone is remarkable. But then you factor in the offense ability, bringing the ball up the floor. There is no doubt he is the vocal leader and the heartbeat. Pass to Aiden. 13 feet out. That is now his seventh field goal in 10 attempts. Impressive. His shot has been a one point from the opening tip. He's pretty much kept them in the game. Back to Curry. A minute 50 left in the first half. And out of bounds, the Trailblazers will take it. Malcolm Brogdon's checked in for Portland. Substitution on the court. Portland's shooting just 37% from the field in the second quarter. Outside Murray. Now here's Brogdon. Not a lot of room. 
Just five on the clock. To the middle. Deflects the pass. On the wing, Curry from behind the arc. And the Warriors with another three. Such a quick release. As soon as the ball touches his hands, it's gone. Outside Brogdon. Pass to Murray. Here's Henderson. Back to Murray. The nine-footer's on the mark. Murray's got his third basket on the night right there. Golden State has gone 7 of 14 from the perimeter in this one. Curry passes to Wiggins. Back to Curry. Murray against Wiggins. And the Warriors with another three. This defense just can't stay connected to shooters. Outside Murray. Pass to Brogdon. Now here's Graham. Back to Brogdon. From 13. It's rebounded by Golden State. Wiggins right side over Brogdon. Again, Golden State. With a bit of an old school feel to his game, Wiggins refuses to shy away from the mid-range. Here's Henderson. Shot from the low post is good. Ooh, an aggressive move. Takes it strong, and there's no help defensively. And the first half now in the books. The Warriors on top, up by 15. The Warriors. Guys, thanks. All right, good stuff, Allie. And we'll get back to the action at the start of the third quarter. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is right here. Say hey to the folks, Kenny. Hey, folks. Say hey to the yeah, folks, Shaq. Hey, folks. folks. Hey, let's get this party started. Okay. Chris Paul has been the story in this one. He had 18 points, three rebounds, and two steals. He didn't perform up to his standards in their last game. Tonight's a different story. He obviously has a short memory. Taking a look at the Warriors, Kenny, what'd you think? They were in such a groove. That entire first half, especially on the offensive end. Good play calling, good execution, and by and large, they take good, not good, great shots. Looking at Portland, Shaq, your thoughts? The shooting percentage they allow was through the roof. The coach should absolutely be ripping into the You need to take some pride on the other end. Just lock it in, lock it in, lock it in. And that'll do it for us. The third quarter about to begin with Kevin Harlan standing by. We'll catch you on the flip side, my brother. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. Chris Paul having a dominant impact in this game. Yeah, tonight he's done a great job of slashing through the lane and finishing. And you love that mindset he has going at the rim. He hasn't settled for anything, and he's been the aggressor all game long. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. We've got Anthony Simons, Murray out there with Jeremy Grant. Then it's DeAndre Ayton. That's the group starting the second half for Chauncey Billups. And Aiden pulls it down. Aiden's got 13 rebounds in the game. Glass eating. Here's Grant. Oh, Grant throws it down. And their offensive rebounding is such a strength for them when he's on the floor. Yeah, he really helps them extend possessions, doesn't he? Yeah, you can feel Coach smiling on the sidelines with every offensive board. Would you say testing the limits of his range there? Yeah, he might have been feeling himself a little too much on that one. He can hit it, but not consistently. He's covered by Aiton. Outside Curry. Rebound by the Trailblazers. 
Aiden's got 14 rebounds tonight, going after it. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Second personal foul. RJ, you're in the middle of a few trades in your career, to put it lightly. What's that like as a player to get moved around so much? Thanks for bringing that up so sweetly, Brian. I appreciate that. Look, there's pros and cons to this. It's nice to know that another organization wants you for whatever reason, but it's also tough to leave an organization that you had a connection to, the fan base. But eventually, you figure it out. And he can't get the first one. And the Warriors making a change here. Thompson's checked in. He hits the second from the line. Second half of basketball, just over a minute played so far. Pass to Wiggins, jacks up a three. It's rebounded by Grant. Grant's got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. Fires from deep. No good there. The Warriors go the other way with it. Thompson finds Curry. It's hauled in by the Trailblazers. Things have been a little bumpy coming into the second half. Five straight misses. Simons passes to Grant. To the wing on the left. Murray against Wiggins. And he was camped in the three. lane there. He gets a three-second call. We've seen more than a few miscues from them tonight. And if they want to come back in this game, look, they got to clean up those mistakes. Golden State has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. Knocked loose. Now here's Murray. Give him eight. And he lobs it up to the rim. And eight with the stuff. The pass, the catch, the slam. What a clean play. Man, absolutely jaw-dropping. Back to Curry. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. Here's Thompson. Good. He hits the jumper. Thompson's got ten. Want to see a perfect jumper? Just watch Clay Thompson. Pass to Simons. And here's Murray. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. That one belongs to Wiggins. And even from where we're sitting, you could clearly tell it was a foul. At the line for your trailblazers, Murray taking two shots. That free throw, no good. And he's good on the second. Third quarter here, and three minutes have come off the clock. Pass to Thompson. Ooh, coming through again. Shooting five for seven now. Ooh, look at Thompson outworking the defense. Winning that second chance look for his team. Simons outside. Here's Grant. Outside Murray. Now Simons. Here's the three. Counted from distance. 12 points for him. You give a shooter of his caliber that much time to seam it up? Oh, yeah, you're done. Back to Curry. Pass to Thompson. Curry with it. 10 points for him. Thompson outside. 
And it's good. Play. Assisting on the play was Curry. Thompson's got seven points here in the quarter. He was solid in the first half from deep. He's a guy who can get hot. Let's see how he does here in the second. Murray from outside. Trailblazers keep it alive. Stolen by Thompson. Here's Wiggins. It's hauled in by the Trailblazers. Murray's got his fourth rebound in this one. Here's Aiton. Not going to go that time. So Golden State will take it the other way. 17 points was their biggest margin. Let's it fly. Oh, and the jam by Aiton. Grown man strength right there. Aiden just pushing through contact and getting it done. Wiggins outside. Curry finds Thompson. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. Second personal foul. First team. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Warriors. Clay Thompson at the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. No good on the free throw. After a run of bad luck with injuries, it's great to see Thompson back on the court contributing because this man, he is the definition of a warrior. Robert Williams checked in for Graham. Good on the second one. The Trailblazers have gone four of nine in the third quarter. Outside Murray. Pass to Henderson. Outside, Williams. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. Second personal foul, third team foul. At the line for your Trailblazers, Robert Williams. At the line for two. And he makes a first. good as he hits both shots here's Curry he's got 10 Wiggins outside back to Curry 14 feet away and the jumper is good Curry's got 12 points he drops yet another dime just facilitating this offense like a maestro pass to Henderson now here's Murray. Shot clock at six. Hayden with it. Yes, and it's Murray picking up the assist. Murray's got his third assist of the night. Oh man, he's feeling it this quarter. They should be looking to get him going every trip down the floor. Curry passes to Wiggins. Out to Thompson. Launches a three. That is now his seventh field goal in ten attempts. Three. Impressive. Keep riding that hot hand. He's been pretty much unstoppable. Timeout, timeout. Now a timeout called by Portland. And now that they have some time to get a little bit of rest, it's time for these players to regroup while hydrating themselves with some Gatorade, looking to gain a boost of energy as they continue to play in this game. And staying hydrated is the only surefire way to do it. An athlete's body doesn't have the same power and stamina without proper hydration. These guys will be sure to use this timeout wisely. Chris Paul, he's checked in for the Warriors. Simons outside. Fires the three. Sinks the tray. Simons has got seven points here in the quarter. The three-point shooting has been on point here in the second half. 
And there's the foul. It's on Anthony Simons. That's foul number two for him. I have to admit, I mean, it's always a tough decision for the ref on the block charge call. Warriors ball starts the second half. Let's hear it for your Blazers. Ball finds Wiggins. Williams defending. Pass to Paul. Clock at six. Takes a 13-footer. That one a tad offline, but it drops in for him. Thompson's got 13 in the second half. He's looked practically unstoppable this quarter. The defense, yeah, well, they haven't had many answers for him. Simons outside. Over Thompson. Pass to Henderson. Second shot opportunity. Got it. Simons has got 17. Golden State has gotten two of four threes to fall here in this third quarter. Back to Paul. Here's Green. Second chance shot. The kick out to Wiggins. Goes up again. Boy, they had their chances. Two offensive rebounds, but still coming up empty. Pass to Henderson. Simons outside. From downtown. They get the rebound. That cuts the lead to single digits. Aiden's got eight here in this quarter. So impressed with that bucket by Aiden. Fantastic body control from the big man. Back to Paul. Wiggins outside. Over Murray. And the Warriors tack on two more. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. Yeah, as soon as these guys feel contact, they are just disappearing like they're not even there. You gotta show some fire and keep defending. Pass to Aiden. It's tipped. And stolen by Green. Outside Paul. And he lobs it up. Sharp find by Paul. One of the best passers of all time. Chris Paul. The Trailblazers have gone 8 of 15 in the third quarter. Simons outside. Now Murray. And here's Aiden. 24 points for him. Back to Murray. Five to shoot. Pass to Simons. The three is up. Yes, and it's Murray picking up the assist. Murray's got his fourth assist with that last one. He's doing everything he can. If they want to win, others have to step up and provide some scoring. Time called here. The Warriors decide to talk it over. And your Trailblazers youth dance team. for the Blazers. Sharp comes in for Murray, and Brogdon is subbed in for Simons. Looney's checked in for the Warriors. Moody comes in for Thompson. Wiggins passes to Paul. Back to Wiggins. Pass to Moody. Six to shoot. Williams defending. Williams grabs the board. He struggles shooting the rock, yet they're still winning. It's a good thing his teammates have played well. Here's Sharp. And he's going for the lob. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt. Wiggins for three. And Aiden pulls it down. Aiton's got his 18th rebound here tonight. All over the place. Pass to Sharp. And here is Williams. Now Brogdon. Doing some damage on the offensive end. Putting up a little over 14 points a game. And there is the whistle. That'll go on Kevon Looney. That's his first foul of the game. A 
A minute 37 left in the third quarter. Hayden against Looney. Pass to Henderson. Paul with a steal. And they just keep making mistakes. I mean, that's back-to-back -back turnovers, which easily could have been prevented. And it's good from the elbow. Paul's got 20 points. Oh, my. You have to respect the aggressiveness he plays with. Oof. Here's Henderson. He's guarded by Paul. Oh, and he got Whoa. fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It goes on Chris Paul. Fifth team foul. At the line for your Trailblazers, Henderson. Two shots. Two. Two. First one falls for him. on both and it's the Warriors with the ball 17 points was their biggest margin here's Moody now quiet so far offensively searching for his first points of the game and the call is going to be yes on an illegal screen you're not going to fool the officials too often on an illegal screen that's a very avoidable turnover you gotta focus on the details Portland has gotten three of six threes to fall in the third quarter. Pass to Henderson. Brogdon with the ball. And it's Paul picking him up. Brogdon with the bucket. Brogdon's got five now. The offensive IQ Brogdon has is fantastic. A creative score in close. Here's Moody. Wiggins with it. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Man, he made sure to get his money's worth on that foul. Shooting for Golden State. Andrew Wiggins. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Two shots. And he drops the first. Jeremy Grant, he's checked in for Aiden. And Wiggins drops them both. 27 seconds left in the third. Outside Brogdon. Pass to Sharp. Now Graham. Here's Sharp. Shot clock at six. And the bucket is good. Yeah, not afraid to finish at the rim. Sharp, just relentless. Down low. Hey, great D that time from Graham. And so it's Clay Thompson making highlights for the Warriors, helping them space the floor. Two triples in that quarter, three for the game. We're coming right back. Don't go anywhere. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist to the game. You know, I'm kind of stoked this was a choice because I love this pass. A remarkable find. He put his court vision on full display. That wasn't a better pass in the game, almost like he had a sixth sense. And this is it. Glad to have you along for this fourth quarter. On the floor for the Warriors. Stephen Curry is out there with Chris Paul. Then it's Andrew Wiggins. Then there's Kevon Looney. Three-pointer is up from Brogdon. Nails it from beyond the arc. Oh, and that's a nice find by one of the youngest players in the league. Sharp with tremendous upside to his game. 
Pass to Wiggins. Back to Curry. The three is up. It's rebounded by Grant. Grant's got rebound number 12 here already in the game. They've been dominating the boards tonight, yet it's still a close game. Curry with it. Now guarded by Brogdon. 18 feet out. That one's good. Nothing but net. And the Warriors lead by six. Making use of the in-between area. Curry's ability to break defenses down opens up these shots. And that's a foul called on Stephen Curry. That's his third foul of the game. For the Trailblazers, Murray's checked in for Sharp. And Simon has subbed in for Brogdon. And Golden State also making a switch. Green has checked in. We played just over a minute here in the fourth. Here's Henderson. He's guarded by Paul. Outside Murray. Four on the clock. Knocks down the long J. Backing up that last three with another three. The defense has to stop giving them so many clean looks. Outside Curry. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. That's his first turnover of the game. And that only goes to show how well he's taking care of the ball to this point. Thompson, he's checked in for Chris Paul. The Trailblazers have gone two of three to open the fourth quarter. Pass to Graham. And a little over a minute and a half gone by in the fourth. And so ball out of bounds. Thompson touched it last. He clipped the ball there, but not enough to nab the steal. That's fine. You love the effort, not making things easy for the opposition on offense. Now here's Grant. Just five to shoot. To tie it up. It's rebounded by Golden State. Thompson's got six rebounds here tonight. Last quarter of play, about two minutes in now. Can't get it to drop. Here's Murray. Williams in the post. Pounded by Wiggins. Williams shot is good. And just an important bucket down the stretch. This is when his focus becomes razor sharp. The deeper into crunch time we get, the harder he's going to work on that offensive glass. Here's Curry. It's hauled in by the Trailblazers. This lead is up for grabs. Yeah, each possession has an importance. Murray, no good. They timed up the layup perfectly. The D saw it develop and got there to bother the shot. Will not go. Misses off the front iron. And they're up right now, but it hasn't been because of him. He's really struggled on offense. Third minute of action now gone here in the fourth. Pass to Graham. Simons against Thompson to take the lead. The second effort. And it's laid up and in by Williams. And the Trailblazers lead by one. This is the very definition of a back and forth contest. Yes. Neither side taking his foot off the gas. I'm expecting a spectacular finish. Timeout called, the Warriors. There's just a lot of wide open lanes to the rim here. That'll drive your coach nuts. Yeah, we can see over here, the coach, he has some choice words for his team. Words we cannot repeat. The Trailblazers making a switch here. Aiden's checked in. And let's send it over to Ali LaForce. I was able to listen in on what Steve Kerr had to say to the team. He is not happy about their perimeter play at either end. They're getting killed with the three ball both ways. He said it's a battle they can't lose if they want to come out of here with the win. Great work, Allie. Thanks. Here are the Blazers with the ball. A big stretch here going. Ten to two. Tries again. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Gotta be careful how you guard eight. He's so creative at finding ways to draw fouls. All right, guys, some stats here. The scoring breakdown for the Trailblazers. That one's off. Yeah. 
That one's no good. The Warriors trailing. Green finds Curry. Thompson outside. Back to Curry. Three-pointer. The basket's good. Off the assist from Thompson. Thompson's got four assists in the game. And this is just typical of him. Always making an impact at crucial moments in the game. And his team needs every bit of his production if they want to pull this one out. It is neck and neck here in the final period. Oh, man, that's tough. That's definitely one he'd like back. Almost too wide open. For three. That's good. That's now his seventh made field goal in 15 tries. And now with two three-pointers in each half, he's really doing his all to help his team out from deep. Thompson against Simons. Pass to Henderson. Now here's Murray. Here's Henderson from deep three-point range. It's rebounded by Golden State. Thompson's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Here's Wiggins. Great D that time from Murray. Portland has got two of five threes to go here in the fourth. Tries to break his ice. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Clay Thompson picks one up. Third team foul. At the line for your Trailblazers, Jeremy Grant. At the line for two. He's off on the first. This has become a theme for these guys. Way too many missed chances at the line. And the second free throw is good. Just a tough miss at the line. They're down two baskets now. Now here's Curry. He's covered closely. And it's good for two. Curry's got 12 points in just the second half. What focus from Curry on offense so far. Doing everything he can to provide a lift for his squad. Pass to Murray. Takes the three. Buries it from three. Murray's got six in the quarter. He knocked one deep ball in the first half, but you start to get the feeling he's finding his rhythm out there now. Outside Curry. Up top, Wiggins. Great D that time from Simons. Portland has gone three of six from downtown so far in the fourth. Here's Murray. Buries it down low. And it's now just a one-point Warrior lead. Instead of risking something on the perimeter, he just works it inside. Reading the defense, sensing the open, he does not hesitate. Pass to Wiggins. Outside, Green. And here's Curry. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. It's going to be on DeAndre Ayton. You never want to foul Curry. He's pretty much the best free throw shooter ever. Shooting for Golden State, Stephen Curry. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And that one falls for Curry. In the second half, their free throw percentage has improved, hitting in the low 80s now. And so Curry nails both of them. Here's Henderson. Grant outside. 
Pass to Henderson. Outside Murray. Simons with it. Here's Henderson. Back to Simons. To tie it up. Rebounded by Green. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. And he's doing things on the glass tonight that we don't often see. He is totally in the zone, showing his incredible focus when it comes to attacking the glass. Pass to Aiden. Outside Murray. Here's Simons. Let's the three fly. Yes, and it's Murray picking up the assist. Simons has got 23. And defensively, how do you leave him that open in crunch time? Golden State has got two of five threes to go here in the fourth. And a deep three from Curry. An absolute bomb from three-point range. What a performance. Hit two from beyond the arc in the first half, and he's added three more since. Wiggins against Murray. Back to Simons. And play stops. A whistle there on what looks like an illegal screen. That's four fouls for him tonight. He needs to pick his battles wisely going forward. Golden State ball starts the fourth and final quarter. Let's hear it for your play. Now here's Curry. Fires from 14. Here's Green. Pass to Wiggins. Now here's Thompson. Inside. Shot clock at five. Fades. Curry's shot is off. For Portland, they've gotten seven of 16 attempts to drop since the start of the fourth. The drive by Simons. Nice D from Thompson. The Warriors leading. Up top, Wiggins. Defended by Murray. Wiggins outside. Doesn't go for him. And it's Portland the other way. And at home for the next one, it'll be Oklahoma City pulling in. And they'll be right in the middle of a five-game homestand. Outside Murray. Simons against Thompson. On the wing, Simons. Portland, no good that time either. Good idea with the fadeaway, but the defense was just all over it. Curry's shot is off. Portland has gone four of eight from three-point land during the fourth. Grant the pass to Simons. Here's Henderson. Pass to Aiden. To win the drought, and he sinks the layup. Aiden's got 26. Wow, we've seen Aiden step up in big moments, in big games, and deliver. Wiggins from long range, and the three-pointer goes. And the Warriors lead by four. He wants the ball, has a flair for the dramatic, unfazed in big situations. Here's Henderson. That shot, no good. Oh, nice D from Curry. The Warriors shooting about 32% during this fourth. Thompson outside. Pass to Wiggins. This one for three. And it's Portland with a rebound. Aiden's the Trailblazers shooting around 44%. Not bad. And here's Grant. Rebounded by Green. Green's got rebound number 12 now. Tenacity on the glass. Stolen by Aiton. Pass to Henderson. Curry with a steal. Aiton against Wiggins. Now here's Curry. Basket's good. When it is crunch time and you've got Stephen Wardell Curry, the game plan is simple. Get him the ball. Time, out, time, out. time called here. The Trailblazers decide to talk it over. They trail by six. There's 53 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Who wants to update their tonight with a free 
And now let's present our New Balance Player of the Game, Stephen Curry. This is special. We are witnessing a legendary performance here tonight. He is like levels above everyone else on the floor. Something must have clicked for him in warm-ups tonight. He's just come out and he has run wild. And the Warriors making a switch here. Paul's checked in. There's 53 seconds left in the fourth quarter. From eight feet. Yeah! Time out, time out. And now they trail by just four. And the advantage he has is clear. Just taking what the defense gives him right there. Now a timeout called by Golden State. They're in front by four. There's 48 seconds left in the game. There's 48 seconds left in the fourth. Green, the pass to Paul. And that's an intentional foul. Anderson, fourth personal foul. Second team foul. Golden State ball starts the fourth. 43 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And so they choose to intentionally foul. Anderson, fifth personal foul. Shooting for Golden State. Andrew Take a break. Take a break. Taking two, two shots. shots. And he cannot get the first one to drop. Tough on the miss. And Wiggins doesn't shy away from getting to the line, especially when games are tight. And the second of two is good. And that puts him up five. There's 38 seconds left in the fourth quarter here. Oh, Green with a block. When you talk about the best defensive players of this era, you have to talk about Draymond Green. Man, the defender really went after him. At the line for Portland, Henderson taking two shots. And he misses the first one. Boy, he wanted that one to go. So it comes up empty at the line. And here are the Warriors now. 17 points was their biggest margin. Brogdon's checked in for Portland. And we have to take another look at that block. Oh, amazing indeed. And getting stops like that only encourages them to keep attacking on the offensive end. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Oh, the first one drops, and that increases the lead to six. So he gets them both, and it's a seven-point game. He knows how important it is converting at the line and building up this lead. Timeout called. The Blazers, they're losing by seven. And we've got 28 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one.
Hayden finds Graham. Shoots over Paul. Oh, he nails out, it. Oh, and that cuts the lead to just five. Fantastic decision making. Aiden electing to move it for the high percentage look. Timeout called the Warriors. They're up by five. 24 seconds left in the final quarter. Seconds left to play in the fourth. And an intentional foul right there. Portland foul. Malcolm Brogdon. First personal foul. Fifth team foul. Take a break. Take a break. Shooting shot. for Golden State. Chris Paul taking two shots. Good on the first. And that increases the lead to six. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's a seven-point game. We've got 22 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter of this one. Murray from outside. There's another rebound. This kind of effort is amazing. Simply put, he will not be denied. Paul with it. And so it's Golden State winning this one. They played the villain tonight, and they played it well. <laughs> yes, they did. And, you know, you have two choices. You can either succumb to the hostility. One thing that can be entertaining at this point of every season is how unexpected rivalries Greg begin to develop. Yeah, teams that might not be traditional rivals have a few heated games early on, and now their matchups become must-see TV happens every season so with Paul on the bench here's the group that Steve Kerr has on the floor guard pair on the floor it's Curry and Thompson then it's Wiggins and it's Green so the Portland Trailblazers able to put the first points up on the board Curry wide open tries again the rebound by Grant time now to turn to our sideline reporter David Aldridge David well I talked with head coach Steve Kerr they did get a win in the last game against this team, but he told me we're facing a dynamite offense. We were lucky to get a win the last time. We need to have discipline and detail tonight and try to minimize mistakes. Back to you, Kevin. David, thank you for that. Very interesting. G8, their focus on preventing a scoring burst early on. And it's tough. Once you've lost momentum to try and recapture, they're relying on their defense to negate that up front. Well, you'd love to live in that disruptive mode all night long, never allowing your opponent to get comfortable. And this is right around the time when one team might start to pull away. Yeah, this team is looking to add to the lead Trying to put the other team away and threatening here. Now, here's Aiton. Following the miss by Andrew Wiggins. Let's it go from 11. And it's Simons missing. Last game for the Warriors, it was a loss to the Oklahoma City Thunder. Here's Thompson. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. Frank, we know that Clay Thompson had 941 days between NBA games because of those injuries. But he was using that experience away for good. And Clay announcing with that his family foundation would have a 941 day initiative. Programs to help workers who have suffered career setbacks. Thompson helping others with their comeback. And the first one at the line is good. There's so many little things that Clay Thompson does for his team that go unnoticed. Trust me, they're not unappreciated. And so Thompson nails both of them. And that's the norm for him. He's pretty much automatic when he's at the line. And there's the pass to Simon. Wide open look here for Murray. Here's Grant. He's off on that one. The Warriors go the other way. And 
pass to Curry. Some nice passing by Golden State. Rebound by Murray. The Trailblazers have gone 50% from the field, hitting three of six since the opening tip. Pass to Ayton. And Ayton throws it down. Does it feel good as a big man like Ayton to throw it down? You bet it does. Curry hits to Wiggins. And here in the first, approaching three minutes played. Goes up to the stripe. Rebounded by DeAndre Ayton. Well, they shouldn't be giving that shot to anyone, but they certainly shouldn't be giving it to him. That's a big break for the defense. He's covered by Grant. Wiggins against Murray. Shoots. And again, it's the Warriors missing. Trailblazers leading by seven. Henderson passes to Ayton. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. That one on Thompson. After being selected first overall in the 2018 draft, some teams question if DeAndre Ayton was worthy of that. Well, it took time for Ayton to find his comfort zone and all of a sudden became a key piece that nobody's questioning much anymore as an inside rebounder, rim protector, and a guy who can a score at a high Take level a when asked to. Two shots. First free throw is good. Young big men, though, often struggle to find consistency. But you look at Aiden's first four seasons, the numbers are almost identical year to year. Aiden hits them both. And for Aiden, the numbers are impressive indeed, averaging a double double every season. And he's got all the tools, next steps, making more plays for others, and they've been working on his shooting range to open up the lane a bit more. Now here's Wiggins. He's been patient so far, nothing on the scoreboard yet. Down to five on the shot clock. Curry gets the bucket. Well, the accuracy that Curry has from that kind of range, it's just jaw-dropping. He does not miss that many shots from that deep. Henderson dishes to Murray. Wiggins with the block, and he recovers it. Murray, no good. Uh, for him, it's harder to miss that shot than it is to make that shot. I think he was anticipating a bit of a bump there. Yeah, undersized guys with athleticism do these kind of things, playing above the rim. Love to see him get up like that. Henderson kicks to Simons. Back to Henderson. There's the dish to Ayton. Second chance shot. The Warriors pull it in. They come into this one following a loss to the Thunder. Yeah, you, you saw the communication breakdowns defensively. Just giving up way too many open looks. Yeah, sometimes you can play good on-ball defense, but it's the help defense that makes you elite. And on that night, nobody rotating and not a lot of help. Henderson, no one around him. Portland, no good that time either. And so it's Thompson with it. He'll bring it up for the Warriors. Trailing by two. And he makes it look easy, dunking it hard with one hand. Well, you're always looking to see if somebody has a better shot, even if your name's Clay Thompson. Nice dish. Portland's gone. One of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. Now here's Murray. 11 points last game. Three-pointers, Simon. Up and in for the basket. Number four. That makes him four for five now. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. Thompson for the triple. And another three for Golden State. Three. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Henderson kicks to Murray. Pass to Simon. There's the triple. That one is good. He's only missed one shot of his six taken on the floor. This quarter belongs to him, and that's how you do it when you're out in front. Don't play it safe. Keep that momentum going. Now the pass to Green. 
Up top, Curry. And there are the Warriors now with another bucket. That's a go-to shot for Stephen Curry, ready to shoot as soon as that ball touched his fingertips. Henderson passes to Murray. Back to Henderson. Simons with the ball. Murray outside. Aiton kicks to Simons. Shoots it. It's rebounded by Golden State. They've been beating them to a lot of those loose balls and rebounds here to start. They get it back, and Green slams it in. Yeah, Draymond just eating glass that time on the inside, finding some room, carving out space. Great activity. Pass to Murray. Back to Simons. Good, and the assist goes to Murray. Simons has got 15 points. Pretty easy right now. Clear out, give him some space, let him get to work. Ask to Green. Golden State moving the ball around. Here's Thompson. He can't get that one, so the Trailblazers will take it the other way. This game coming after a loss against the Bucks. What a duel that was. Exciting all the way to the end. Really a shame someone had to walk away with an L. Yeah, I bet it was pretty quiet in that locker room after that game. When it hit overtime, Raymond it was a matter of which team had more energy left, and seemingly it wasn't them. Here's Henderson following the basket by Draymond Green. Passes it to Murray. Oh, and there's the alley-oop. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt there. To the paint. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. First personal foul. The Warriors have had two chances at the line already, making them both. And looking over their percentage on the season, I think they will be thrilled with the number in terms of their free throw percentage, 79. And he knocks down the first one. And the Warriors making a change here. Paul's checked in. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Trailblazers trail by three. And the first time out of the game called here for the Trailblazers. And as things present themselves throughout a game, teams have to adapt on the fly. And timeouts are a wonderful opportunity to just settle in and recollect the thoughts of your entire team. Not just the guys playing, but the entire team. We need to a chance now to take a look at some numbers for Clay Thompson. And guys, this effective field goal percentage is trending in the wrong direction over the past five games. Shot discipline hasn't been the best. He'll be looking to play a smarter game tonight. They're going to turn it over. They couldn't get it in bounds that time. Already it's February. Hard to believe. Let's see how the West is matching up. Look at the Trailblazers. Advantage in one series. And of course the Warriors. Down four spots from them. And for the Trailblazers, this isn't the spot that too many people thought they'd be in this far into the season. They've really turned some heads with their play. Now, some people out there still thinking they're going to fade as the season goes on, but I'm on the other side of this argument. I think they get even better as we go down the stretch. And Tremont Green picks up the foul. That's his first foul. And that rejection had some mustard on it. Huge, huge play. And a block like that sends a message. One that says we're not giving up this lead. Williams, he's checked in for the Trailblazers. Henderson passes to Grant. Aiton kicks to Simons. The pass to Henderson. Off target from outside. Warriors leading by five. Here's Paul. 
shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. First, first no Paul finding a way that time to draw the foul. And an important part of every team's game. A look at the hustle stats for the Warriors. Right off the bat, they're going after the ball, looking to jump into the passing lanes and create some steals in transition. Sometimes the offense can be keyed by just quick possession. So you get a steal and you can get out in transition. They seem to be very focused on that end of the floor. And the second free throw good. Now, there's been a lot of stops in CP3's career, but there's been no doubt that when he's on the team, he is the vocal and emotional leader of their production. Now here's Henderson. 35 points for him last game against Milwaukee. And it was a huge night for him at the other end as well. How about the steals? And he was just a big headache the entire game. He's not very hard to defend right now. This is when the defense might step back and let him try to find his range. Greg, when you watch and Bernie Simons play, you can see the burst he has on the ball. And that goes for him attacking the rim and rising up for a shot. Impossible to stay in front of him with that quick first step. And with his skill and athleticism, boy, the sky's the limit. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. We throw good, Simons. And Simons really settling in to what he is in this league, and that is a microwave scorer that can come in and get buckets. And Simons drops them both. And so it's Paul bringing it up for Golden State. Four point game. Puts up a three. Henderson pulls it in. Looks like the game plan is they're willing to give him that kind of shot. It worked out for them this time, but they give it to him again. I, I bet three points are coming. Just great hands for Aiton to time that one. Outside curve. Pass to Thompson. Three pointer. Good, and Curry gets the assist. Curry's got three assists in the game. One of the more skilled offensive players that is on the floor here tonight. Not an easy fella to hold in check. Goes back up. Lost contact on the shot, and now a three point play chance as he'll head to the line. If Aiton continues to use his frame like that and stays active, that's a good sign. The Trailblazers have looked good at the line. They're perfect in four attempts. And really, the form at the line all season has been terrific. 79% as a team. And the Warriors making a change here. Kaminga's checked in. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. Free throw drops for Aiton. Well, Aiton and efficiency go hand in hand. I mean, this guy's field goal percentage is on cloud nine. Thompson outside. Back to Paul. Six to shoot. Pulls it from 20. And it's Portland with the rebound. Aiton's got six rebounds now in the game. Pass to Simons. Aiton inside. Defended by Paul. And that one's good, Aiton. Well, that basket must be widening out right now, and he's making almost every shot he's putting up this quarter. Golden State's gone three of five from three-point land so far in the ballgame. Back to Paul. Passes to Kaminga.
It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. Now that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. And the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. There's the pass to Simons. Henderson kicks to Grant. Pulls it up. Again, the Trailblazers score. The Warriors shooting at around 44% in the early goings here. Thompson outside. Back to Paul. Outside Curry. Three-pointer. Good, and Paul gets the assist. Curry's got a couple of threes now in the first for the Warriors. Trailblazers trail by three. Let's it go from 14. Henderson, no good. Probably not the shot that was drawn up for that possession, but you can't pass it up, and you can't knock it down. Yeah, and there it is again. On a lot of their possessions this first half, they've established great inside position. Here's Henderson. Here's Williams. And there's two points. Working on the glass, paying off that time. The first quarter all wrapped up, and it's been an exciting game so far. Warriors lead by three. From Portland, we're back in a moment. It's dance time in Portland. And getting going again here in the second quarter. Fairly close game so far. And the Warriors, guys, what jumps out to you in this game, uh, stance-wise? Well, look at the turnover ratio, then look at the score. Easy to see what happened in that first period. Yeah, hopefully the opposition can recover because that first quarter defensively was unbelievable, just crippling defense. Brent, did you have any superstitions when you played in the NBA? Not, not so much, Kevin. I really had more routine, and if I got off my routine, I might be uh, a little bit, you know, nervous. But nothing superstitious and nothing that I can recall. So with Thompson sitting on the bench, here's the group that Steve Kerr has on the floor. Chris Paul is out there with Stephen Curry. Then there's Jonathan Kaminga. Then it's Wiggins. Right now, I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Thanks very much. Now, the Blazers missed the playoffs last season for the first time in almost a decade. Coach Billups says, it's been a lot here so far, but I just know that I'm built for this. This is what I do, and it gives me the opportunity to stand up as a man to show that I can lead. I'm ready for it. Kevin? I think he is, and he's embracing the challenge, which is uh, fun to watch. David, thanks. Count that one. Simon's playing unselfish. That's going to help this team get in a great rhythm. And it's Curry with the ball, bringing it up for the Warriors. Wiggins surveying the floor. Fires the three. The Trailblazers pull it in. Grant's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. And, and gotta like what they've been doing down low in the post. Now here's Murray. That gives them the lead. Simons has got 19 points. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Just about a minute and a half has gone by here in the second. Kaminga the pass to Curry. Just five to shoot. And the Warriors miss again. Well, after getting off to a great start, hitting those first two shots, he's definitely regressed a little bit in this quarter. Now here's Murray. Taking a look at his stats, he's averaging around nine and a half points a game. Yep, that one goes. One points in the game. Guys, his consistency in terms of shooting has really helped them seize control. Higgins outside. Curry on the wing. Henderson defending from deep three-point range. Curry can't get it to go. You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. That's a good find for Aiton, understanding the defensive scheme, and he just waited for his teammate to be open. Now oh, here's Wiggins. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Oklahoma City. Looking to end the run, and the layup is up and in. Eight points for him. 
Well, he takes care of salvaging that possession for the offense by getting on the offensive glass. And for those of you just joining us in the second quarter with about three minutes gone by, offensive rebound. And his lateral quickness really allows him to stay in front of the shooter there and challenge the shot. Talk about versatility on offense a lot, but how about on defense? And he takes pride in making an impact down there. Here's Henderson. The Warriors making the shot. Pass to Simons. Grant at the elbow. Back to Simons. Fires it up. The Trail Blazers with a new shot clock. And the basket is good. Ayton's got 13 points. Defense unable to stop DeAndre Ayton that time getting inside and using his frame. Pass to Wiggins. He's covered by Ayton. To the middle. And it'll go. And the Blazer lead is cut down now to just two points with that basket from Andrew Wiggins. Anderson against Curry. Grant kicks to Simons. The baseline J off the mark. The Warriors have gone three of eight from the field since the beginning of the second quarter. Here's Curry. Stripped it away. And now Portland on the break. Murray with the ball. Here's Simons. Warriors with the rebound. That's the kind of D you need when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were all over. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And you know what? You allow a guy to get right to the rim like that. That's your only option. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for Portland. They have started this game looking to push the tempo, and it's working for them. Great job of scoring in transition. The tally on the offensive rebounds right now has been really impressive. They've just been in the right spot at the right time and getting those putbacks. And he makes the first. Raymond Green, he's checked in for the Warriors. Tied up with that one. Portland's gotten a success rate of just over 50% from three point tonight. Four of seven shooting. Time called here. The Blazers decide to talk it over. Well, whether things are good, bad, or indifferent, coaches will have adjustments to make throughout the course of the game. Yeah, not just there to pump up or to discipline players. You got to make sure that the coach makes the proper adjustments and has his team in the right mindset to carry it out. It's stolen by Curry. Higgins outside. Henderson against Curry. Here's Kaminga. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Curry's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Simons the pass to Henderson. Here's Grant. Here's Ayton. And he uses the glass on the lane. Ayton's got 15. Uh, again, with that kind of size, DeAndre Ayton is going to draw some fouls and does not shy away from contact. Passes it to Green. Outside Curry. Shot clock at six. There's the three. The rebound by Grant. Grant's got his fifth rebound in this one. Time for some consideration in the passing category, maybe, Kevin. The shot is just not on. Get somebody else going. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. They get Stephen Curry. Wow. Hard to guard when he's that close. Grant really good at drawing the defense in to foul him. 
And in his seventh season in the league, Jeremy Grant took a huge step forward. His scoring output went way up. Yeah, and there's some recognition around that. He got some first place votes for most improved player, and that's pretty impressive for a guy in the sure, middle sure. of his career. So the work ethic paying off, and he's desiring to get better. First one falls for. Him. You know, Greg Anthony, people talk about Jeremy Grant as a scorer, but what about his passing? Significantly better moving the ball along. He's leaving no stone unturned as he looks to maximize his abilities. And it's great to see Grant take on a bigger role over time. Now a real focal point of this offense. And the pass to Kaminga. Off target from three-point range. And here's Grant. He'll bring it up for Portland. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Well, he's such an athletic forward. Absorbing contact is something that he's learning to do, getting much better at it. This is his third free throw attempt of the game. And in their last contest, guys, he was unconscious from the foul line. Wasted trips at all. They're taking care of business at the line. Warriors trailed by four. Curry gets to Wiggins. I mean, I like the call. I thought the defense was just there a little late. Second team five. On defense, the Trailblazers. Will it go? With him struggling tonight, they need to find some other options out there to keep themselves in the game. Here's Grant. Makes it off the glass. And it's a six-point trailblazer lead. And Grant doing a great job. Just bounced off the contact there and then finished off the shot. Curry against Henderson. Pass to Kaminga. Wiggins outside. Shot clock at five. Chalk up two there. Wiggins has got four this quarter. Wiggins getting the space and then does not hesitate before firing that one. Simons the pass to Murray. Ayton kicks to Anderson. The Trailblazers working the ball around now. Ayton finds Anderson. Pulls up. Kept alive. And Aiton throws it down. And Aiton more and more having these kind of nights from the center position, lighting up the scoreboard. Time out, time out. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. The Trailblazers making a switch here. Hodgins checked in. And the Warriors making a change here. Green against Zayton. Outside Green. Pass to Looney. Pocket six. A second chance effort. Some solid defense from Aiton. And Portland with the ball. Big run right now going for him. 11-2. For three, Murray. And that one is off. The Warriors go the other way with it. Their last encounter was in San Francisco. And they really squeaked out a close one in that last matchup. Came down to just a few turnovers that gave them the margin of victory. Superb job by Clay to draw the contact for the N1 opportunity. Great focus on the play. The Warriors have been coming through at the charity strike. They've made seven of their eight attempts. Robert Williams, he's checked in for DeAndre Ayton. Shot. 
Trailblazers leading by three. They get a hand on it. Ogden looking around. Passes it to Murray. Let's the three fly. That shot, no good. The Warriors go the other way with it. Thompson passes to Wiggins. Six on the shot clock. And that's basket number four. He's taken nine shots to this point. Shooting it with more confidence now. Look at his face. He didn't look quite right in the opening minutes. Finding it now. Murray right side. Over Wiggins. Williams trying to break free. Murray, good. Murray's got his second basket of the night. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Thompson outside. Ogden against Paul. Goes up on the high post, and the Warriors tag on two more. He is a master craftsman when he gets inside and carves out space at the mid-range. CP3 with another deuce. Williams against Green. The pass to Brogdon. Over Paul. The shot by Brogdon, no good. Golden State's gone one of six from three-point land in the second quarter. Less than 20%, but they've continued to let him fly. Now here's Paul. He's got five. Thompson right side. And it's Paul penetrating. It's in. That's his third field goal of the game. He's three for five. The competitiveness of this game lifting, and so Chris Paul's going to get to that standard. He enjoys being aggressive on the offensive class. Now here's Murray. Here's Simon. That's in there. Murray with the assist. Murray's got five assists in the game. Paul passes to Wiggins. Back to Paul. From the arc. The rebound by Grant. Grant's got rebound number eight now on the night. Here's Murray. Wiggins with the rebound. This shot's just, it's not there right now with this team leading perhaps. You know, let's focus on some other areas of the game. Pretty good awareness there from Malcolm Brogdon, capable of spotting the open teammate on that side of the ball. Seven second difference, shot and game clock. Thompson looking for an opening. A shot by Paul, nobody around. And it's out of bounds. The Warriors able to retain possession here. Warriors ball. 15 seconds left now here on the second. It's good. And good tempo on that play as Chris Paul was in place for that jumper. The shot by Brock did no good. Thompson from long range drills the three-pointer. Thompson's got six in the quarter. Well, guys, this first half has been about as tightly contested as you could hope for. There have been a lot of lead changes. And that's it for the first half of action. What's been a very close game here. The Warriors on top. They're up by two. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, folks, welcome back. Ernie Johnson alongside the Jet. That's Kenny Smith. The Diesel. That's Shaquille O'Neal. A lot of big-time action so far in this one. Clay Thompson putting in some serious work for the team tonight. He had 14 points, four rebounds, and three assists. Taking a look at the Warriors, Kenny, what'd you think? The bench scoring has been a big key for them. They came in with energy, and they were able to give the starters a real break because of the way they performed. That's the kind of production every team hopes to have. Shaq, how do you think Portland played? That shit's weak perimeter D. You can't let a team sink that many threes, especially at such a high percentage. You need to come out and say, yeah, you Otherwise, the barrage will continue. Shh. 
And that's a wrap for our halftime show, the third quarter, just about to get started. It's dance time in Portland. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far. One of the stories here, and Fernie Simons getting it done today. Well, we'll find out if they were able to find an, an answer for him over the break. He was scoring with ease in that first half. Yeah, just way too easy out there, and I'm sure Coach is going to make that a priority at halftime. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. Grant is out there with Murray. Then it's Anthony Simon. Then there's Eaton. And it's Henderson in at the point. That's the group in the game for the Trailblazers. Back to Paul. Five on the clock. And the officials have called the illegal screen right there. And, and you can tolerate gaps like that sometimes. But in a close game, man, I tell you what, that really hurts. And so Eaton will bring it up for the Trailblazers. Simons finds Eaton. Portland moving the ball around. Here's Henderson. Grant trying to break free. And then Henderson with the dunk. Big hops from the backcourt. Oh, absolutely. And maybe just what they need to get this game GA going in their direction. Defense has got to be better. Flat out effort was not there. Clearly defensive miscue there. If there's not a body on him that's sitting at the mid-range, that's a defensive mistake. Pass to Murray. Knocked away. Right wing. Lets it fly. And it's Clay Thompson with the rebound. Thompson's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. And play stops. Whistle on what looks to be an illegal screen. Well, when a pick like that is questionable and creates that much of an advantage for the offense, you have to blow the whistle. Yeah, a quick little lean like that is going to get the ref's attention. Foul call. Portland trailing here. Murray looking around. Back to Henderson. Out of bounds. Golden State takes possession. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Thanks very much. Now, Malcolm Brogdon said in pre-draft interviews, teams would ask him, you went to college for four years and got your master's in your fifth year. Are you sure you want to be an NBA player? It seems as if you're black, you can't be both educated and a sportsman. But it's not disheartening. It's a chance for me to break the mold. Kevin? Thanks, DA. And as good as Draymond Green has been on the floor, this guy will be an all-time broadcaster, already a popular podcast. Great TV studio appearances as well. Inside. Good D by Thompson. And the effort never stops with him. No easy shots when he's on the floor. Well, it's about the defensive end, and that's what guys feed off. He gives the effort down there at all times. And Draymond Green, the next broadcasting star. You've watched his work. Why is that? And Kevin, I think his basketball IQ is incredible. And we see that when he plays, but he can also vocalize it to the audience. And of course, Draymond is not afraid to say what he thinks. Curry finds Green. Back to Curry. Out to Thompson. Fires the three. Portland grabs the miss. Grant's got nine rebounds now tonight. Feeds it to Murray. Plays it up and banks it in. Murray's got six. And Grant with a nice heads-up play, willing to make the next pass. The Warriors leading. Curry passes to Thompson. A step-back shot here. It's hauled in by the Trailblazers. Oklahoma City Thunder will be in town for the next one. And that will be the third of five straight played at home. Pass to Henderson. Shoots over Curry. Here's Eaton. He nails it. And we're tied up. Eaton's got 19 points. 
And the defense gets physical, but Aiden doesn't seem to get knocked off a of balance. That helps him to keep the focus. Curry passes to Green. Thompson against Simon. Ball looking over the floor. And the Warriors miss again. Yeah, but the hand in the face. It's critical that you contest his shots every time down the floor. Warriors have gone three of six in the third quarter. 50% from the field. Floats one. And Thompson gets it to go. He's got 16. There are many shots that Clay Thompson can hit, including that one. That's called a floater. Left side, Grant. Elbow shot. And Simon's wide open. He'll fight. Here's Aiton. And Aiton throws it down. <laughs> That's going to be a big morale booster. And you know what? It could come down to those second chance buckets when it's all said and done today. Well, especially in a close game, every possession matters. Green kicks to Paul. Thompson outside. Let's it go from deep. Good, and Paul gets the assist. Paul's got three assists in the game. Oh, Aiton in position. Takes the alley-oop pass and dunks it down. And you can see him give a little nod and then just burst to the rim for the alley-oop slam. A pair of teammates, Greg, with a terrific feel for each other. Third one foul, Anderson. Second personal foul, first team foul. Warriors ball starts the second half. Let's hear it for your Blazers D. Henderson against Paul. Over Henderson. Paul can't get it to go. And so Aiton will bring it up for Portland. Here's Grant. And trying for the go-ahead basket. It doesn't go in. Golden State's gone outside a lot tonight. 17 times, in fact. 7 of 17. Henderson, no good. The Warriors have gone 5 of 9 on field goal attempts since halftime. Here's Curry with the three. Rebounded by DeAndre Ayton. Ayton's got rebound number 17, if you can believe that. Simons from outside. Trains it from beyond the arc. Simons has got 30 points. Timeout called the Warriors. And they're allowing too many points in the paint. Coach is going to let them hear about it. Yeah, Coach knows that. They know that. In the timeout, they're going to hear about it. Make the adjustment. Checked in for the Trailblazers. Here's Paul. He's got 13. Dishes it to Green. Good, and Paul gets Green the assist. Green. Green's got the game tied up here for the Warriors. Not easy to stop Draymond Green in that situation. Big and strong, and uses his size well. Grant outside. That's it go. Good on the jump shot. Grant's got 11. Now here's Paul. He's been a reliable scorer for him as he's averaging up over 13 points a game. Passes it to Thompson. To the inside. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. And, and you got to love the big bucket in the paint in this sort of a grind it out game. The pass to Simons. Here's Henderson. And another three for Portland. A good look there. And he didn't waste it. His second three of the game. Pass to Thompson. Got a piece of it. And now Portland on the break. And all the talent in the world. That's what made Sharp the seventh overall pick in a fairly deep draft. And what do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for the Blazers? They bullied the defense here in the paint. Look at all of those buckets inside. Just hard to defend in the paint. And there's been another bonus to what's happened with them tonight, and that's the offensive rebounding. 
They're boxing out. They're getting up extra shots. That could be a difference maker in the result. The first one falls. A guy who hasn't played a lot of ball. Sharp, though, has all the all-star tools they think available to him. An exceptional shot maker from outside. And he's got great vertical bounce, almost a seven-foot wingspan. And he is relentless in his attack. And Portland making a change here. Ogden's checked in. Both shots good from the strike. Here is Paul. 13 points in the game. Pass to Thompson. Takes a three. The rebound by Simons. Simons has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Grant against Wiggins. Grant, right side. Over Wiggins. No good from Grant. Warriors trailed by five. Green with the ball. Now guarded by Aiton. Here's Paul. And it's Aiton with the rebound. And I was sure that was money on that one, but everyone has afforded an easy miss or two. Yeah, that happens. Important thing is for players, just don't beat yourself up and make a miss like that cost you another play. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Thompson with the bucket. And the defense better find a way to get to Clay Thompson and locate him early. Passes it to Simons. Addition out to Grant. Again, the miss by the Trailblazers. Golden State's gone one of four and three point shots here in the third. Here's Wiggins. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Green's got three assists in the game. Wiggins at his size has the ability to post like that and take it to the rack. Back to Brogdon. Shoots it up. Buries the jump shot. Brogdon's got his first points in this one. And so it's Paul bringing it up for Golden State. Thompson outside. Brogdon against Paul. For the tie. That one doesn't go. So the Trailblazers will take it the other way. Here's Sharp. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And how about that move by Sharp against the defense, getting them to put contact on him so he can draw the foul. The Trailblazers have made a mistake at the line yet. 10 of 10. First free throw is good. And Portland making a change here. Williams has checked in. That one misses, so he goes one for two. Warriors trailed by four. Wiggins dishes to Paul. The pass to Wiggins. And Thompson kicks to Wiggins. Six to shoot. And it's Aiton with the rebound. Aiton's got his 20th rebound here tonight. Saw that coming. And there's the call on Clay Thompson. That's his fourth foul of the contest. And the Trailblazers making a change here. Banton's checked in. And the Warriors also making a change. Kevon Looney is checked in for Thompson. Here's Banton, defended by Paul. Banton, the pass to Williams. Over Looney. Almost, but it rolls out. Warriors trailed by four. 141 left in the third. 
Wiggins from outside. Good for his sixth make in a dozen attempts, shooting 50% with that basket. Well, if Wiggins hits these three-point balls at a high clip, he'll become a much better player and more dangerous for this offense. Pass to Aiton. And there's the whistle. Three-second violation. Golden State ball. A minute 20 left in the third quarter of the game. Pass to Green. Some nice passing by Golden State. Back to Wiggins. So they take the lead. Wiggins has got seven points for the quarter. Yeah, Chris Paul is going to find anybody that's leaning the wrong way, let alone leaving an open man. Brogdon outside. Passes to Sharp. And he gets the whistle for the three-second call. Warriors ball. Warriors ball starts the second half. Let's 46 seconds left Warriors in the third quarter. Paul outside. Fades and shoots. And it's Portland with the rebound. Aiton's Portland's gone past the three-point line for 13 of their shots. They're six of 13. Rogged in the pass to Sharp. He kicks it to Aiton. Five to shoot. Top of the key. Good on the shot. Aiton's got 25 points. You can see with that form on the jump shot that DeAndre Ayton has the tools to become effective on the perimeter. We're at the end of the third, and we've still got a close one. Trailblazers lead by one. From Portland, we're back in a moment. The Warriors, 86. And now let's go back to a play from earlier as we show you our State Farm assist of the game. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them, and, and what a beautiful feat. The coaches talk about it all the time, but to be able to play with that kind of feel, nice play collaborating, improvising, and organic. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far with this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure-packed basketball. So with Paul on the bench, here's the group that Steve Kerr has on the floor. We've got Stephen Curry. He's out there with Moody. Green is out there with Wiggins. And Aiton throws it down. Aiton rolls to the hoop for two at 7-1. Very fluid. And it's Curry with the ball, bringing it up for the Warriors. And there's the pass to Moody. Kicks to Curry. Just five on the clock. From deep. Sinks it. What range from outside. Wow. Curry's got it all tied up now for the Warriors. Here's Henderson. Williams trying to break free. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. And it goes on Draymond Green. At the line for Portland. Henderson. Taking two shots. Two. And the first one drops. Grant, he's checked in for Robert Williams. Free throws good from Henderson. The Warriors trail. Portland foul. Henderson. Clay Thompson, he's checked in for Moody. First team foul. Substitution for the Warriors. Clay Thompson. 
We're just over a minute into this final quarter of play. Bobbed up there for Thompson and stolen by Eaton. That's tipped. Curry against Henderson. Curry passes to Green. He kicks to Wiggins. Lets it go with a three. The rebound by Malcolm Brogdon. Portland's gone past the three-point line for 13 of their shots. Six of 13. Henderson passes to Aiton. Goes to the reverse layup and pops it in. Aiton's got 12 points in just the second half. On the wing, Thompson. Higgins outside. Doesn't get it to drop for him. Murray with the defensive effort. And man, is this team on a roll right now offensively, Greg. So fun to watch. And they're playing with so much confidence, which is why they're tearing it up on this end. Grant kicks to Anderson. Rocket six. And they recover it. Yeah, maybe a little luck, maybe a little bit of heart. Both of those at play here. He's getting every offensive rebound. And he has just been in a flow offensively. Terrific game. He has been the X factor. Higgins outside. And the Warriors miss again. Trailblazers leading by six. Ogden left side. At the top of the key, Eaton. Murray right side. Back to Eaton. That's in there. Murray with the assist. Eaton's got eight points in the quarter. Eaton pouring a foundation there on the inside, just living in the paint. Back to Curry. Trying to end the drought. And again, it's the Warriors missing. And, and, and really credit their advantage on the backboard. That's where the lead has been built, and that's why they are in control. Yeah, letting it rip. They're just having fun right now. Yeah, some of these nights you got to enjoy yourself. Not too much at the expense of the other team, but right now this team is balling. Now a timeout called by Golden State. DeAndre with a strong contribution so far in this one. And they simply have no answer right now for what he's doing to them. He is making them pay. Simons, he's checked in for the Trailblazers. And the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Hey, guys. I was able to catch the message Steve Kerr gave to his team. No surprise, he was not happy with the turnovers. He told them, we are giving this one away, guys. We've got to be more careful with the ball. Play within the offense and get good open shots. Kevin? Thanks so much, David. Well, he now has four three-pointers this game, guys. Two in each half. He's really spacing out the floor for his teammates. Murray with the bounce pass. Pass to Aiton. Thompson against Simon. For three, Murray. Good on the three-point shot. Murray's got the lead up to ten now for Portland. Well, the defense very attentive to him in the first quarter, but he's finally gotten loose in the second and making them pay. And it's Simon's missing. Golden State's gone two of five on three-point shots since the end of the third quarter. Back to Curry. Thompson against Simon. Higgins outside. And looks like the illegal pick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. The second half, they haven't taken care of the basketball. Simply put, more turnovers now that could hurt them later. Curry against Henderson. Murray dishes to Grant. Pass to Simons. The Trailblazers working the ball around now. Aiton, the pass to Anderson. And again, it's the Trailblazers from deep. 
you can't just stop when there's a pick set up. Got to fight over it as a defender. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. And Simons has it in the corner. And the Trailblazers, another three. Defensively, they just look out of sync, not closing out on the threes in time. Outside Curry. He dishes it to Wiggins. Curry passes to Wiggins. Shot clock at six. Shot to stop the run. Rebounded by DeAndre Ayton. Yeah, they've shown effort and aggression in the paint, really, right from the tip. Their rebounding edge right now, massive. And Grant, a great job there of going into contact, not shying away. Brett, we've seen star players continue to angle their way onto what some would call super teams. Uh, is that good or bad for the league? Well, I think at some point that's going to probably play itself out. I mean, every organization, Kevin, quite frankly, is looking for the best talent they can. So if you could pile up three, four, five, you're going to do it. But at some point financially, it just doesn't make sense. So um, I think there's going to be a time when you're going to see that dissipate a little bit as teams put themselves together. And the first one at the line is good. And Grant drops them both. Warriors trail by 18. Curry passes to Wiggins. He's covered by Grant. Lock at six. Pass to Wiggins. Can they get it? It's hauled in by the Trailblazers. Grant's got rebound number 12 here already in the game. Simons finds it. The Warriors pull it in. Here's Wiggins. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Wiggins has got nine points here in the second half. And how about Wiggins' ability to slither in there and slip past the contact for a finish? Wiggins against Murray. Down low. Well-tied pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. And what a turnaround from the first half. I mean, he's been incredible here in the second half. Curry kicks to Wiggins. Thompson for three. That one's not going to go. Now the Trailblazers take it the other way. Now the pass to Anderson. That's a two from Simons. And Portland again with the bucket. And Anthony believing in himself that time. Just zero hesitation on that, Jake. Curry attacking. Shoots over Henderson. And oh, that was close. He draws the foul. He'll shoot two. Brent, with the way shooting has evolved, do you think they might move the three-point line further out at some point? I don't know if that's going to happen anytime soon, but I have heard some great ideas. And who knows? The first one falls. And more artwork from the greatest shooter we've ever seen. Curry making it look easy. Both good from the line that time. Portland leading by 18. Pass to Simon. And here is Aiton. Up top, Henderson. Lots of room. Good, and the assist goes to Murray. Murray's got nine assists now tonight. Uh, unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flame. Yeah, he's the guy that you want to go to right now, trying to put this one away. Curry. Banked in off the glass. 
22 points for Stephen Curry. It feels like the other four guys have disappeared at this point. He wants to be the one to get them back. Henderson finds Simons. In the corner, Murray with it. Over Wiggins. Murray, no good. You know what? They're winning, though, despite the fact that he has just been really off. Golden State foul. Jackson Davis. Fourth personal foul. Second team foul. And here's Grant. He'll bring it up for the Trailblazers. Pass to Simons. And there's the call. That's it's going to be an illegal, illegal screen. screen Beyond the lean, you can see his feet more set on that screen. Easy call. Got to hold firm or you're going to get a call. Warriors trailed by 18. Curry kicks to Wiggins. Ball's knocked loose. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by eight. Curry passes to Thompson. In the corner, it's Wiggins. Five to shoot. Just cannot get anything to go. If there's going to be a way to get out of this hole, I don't think he'll be the one to do it. Back to Henderson. Takes the three. That shot is off. And it's the Warriors taking it the other way. Thompson against Simon. Launches a three. And it's Portland with the rebound. Murray's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Henderson kicks to Murray. Grant outside. The Trey. The Trailblazers rebound. And that's a nice job on the offensive glass. And that, that'll let them work the clock even more. And, and Matador defense. That's one of the easiest shots he is ever going to see. Yeah, it feels like Christmas right now, just gift wrapping points. Yeah, that's one way to get back into this game. Keep getting him the ball and let him make the shots. Murray outside. The Trailblazers working the ball around now. Now Henderson. And stolen by Wiggins. For the finish, and Wiggins throws it down hard. Well, Wiggins, the theft, that starts to break. Trailblazers leading by 15. And tonight's battle is going to end with a very clear winner, leaving nothing to chance. Impressive win for the Trailblazers. Two great rebounding teams. And, and these guys worked just a little bit harder tonight, and that was the edge they needed. And so taking a look at their record, a nice milestone they'll be picking up tonight. 30 wins on the year now. And they're able to even the score of this series at a game of peace. Still, two more to go in the season series. The one player that really stands out, of course, in this one, it was a dazzling game for DeAndre Ayton. There wasn't much they could do to slow him down as he was converting every good chance he got. A shot's good from Simon. Uh, impressive job by the players, coaches, and don't discount the impact of these fans. Awesome to see their output tonight, trying to urge their team on, and that can always help. That, that home advantage of home fans getting you going, fully on display here. And Portland with the ball. They lead by 17. Seven second difference, shot in game clock. Henderson dishes to Ayton. Six to shoot. Henderson finds Simon. Over Thompson. A nice shot by Simon. Simons has got 39. And once they smelled blood in the water, you could see the killer instinct take over. Yeah, up until that point, a competitive game, but once they broke through that barrier, it was all them. Complete control. And so Portland takes this one, but by a big margin. They won this game going away. They were the better basketball team by far tonight. Well, 
Well, Grant, we've seen the NBA evolve quite a bit since your playing days. How do you think you'd be used in today's game versus when you play? Well, B.A., with the spacing in today's game and my ability to slash to the rim, I think I would still be able to get to the basket, dominate in the mid-range, but I'd be shooting way more threes, and I would see more minutes playing as a small ball power forward as well. The starters for the Golden State Warriors. Curry and Thompson pair up at the one and the two. Then there's Draymond Green. Then it's Andrew Wiggins. Now here's Wiggins. Over Simons. Wiggins, no good. Murray against Green. Murray, shot is good. Easy look when the defender isn't fighting over the screen. Reason why it takes extra energy to do it. You have to trust your defensive rotations, but it's worth it. Now here's Curry. Back to Wiggins. Out to Thompson. The three. Always a nice way to start. Makes his first one. There's that signature jumper. Clay Thompson with the picture perfect mechanics. Simons outside. Here's Murray. In his last outing, he had 11 points. Grant against Wiggins. Six on the shot clock. And it's Simons missing. Yeah, he's kicking himself. No defenders to be found in that mid-range area. Wiggins, no good. The Trailblazers have gone one for three so far. Three-pointer. And it's Simons missing. And maybe it's the adrenaline talking, but they're one for four to start this game. Need to settle down. Wiggins passes to Thompson. He's in his comfort zone. Two for two to start this one. And making the extra pass. Wiggins' teammates appreciate his willingness to get it to them when they're uncovered. Pass to Aiden. Murray up top. Excellent D there from Wiggins. One of five to start the game. They have to slow down and just play their brand of basketball. Here in the first, just under two and a half minutes played so far. Grant against Wiggins. Here's Murray. Warriors with the rebound. Last game matched up with the Thunder. Tough loss there. In this league, you have to stay active at both ends of the floor. I thought their lackluster defense was the difference in the game. You know, sometimes great skill can overcome a lack of intensity, but it's very rare. Man, Blazers fans have been having a bit of whiplash. Western Conference Finals to the lottery in just three years. B.A. injuries had a big part to play in that. Shows how fast the NBA landscape can change. Fans are hoping they can get back to what they were just as quickly. Free throw drops for Wiggins. Yeah, the first overall pick in 2014, Andrew Wiggins has carved out a nice career as a scoring wing. And Wiggins drops them both. Timeout called. Portland defeated by Milwaukee in their last game. They'll try to put that one behind them. Oh, my. It was a great game. It went down to the wire. The both teams gave all they had. But only one could come away satisfied. This is what we love about the NBA. Epic matchups almost every night. What other sport has that? And let's check out which teams have been offensive juggernauts the past 10 games. Fourth, Portland. This team has been on an absolute tear offensively. It seems like they're able to find a shot every trip down. Portland has gone 0 for 2 from outside. And we're about three minutes into this first quarter. Pass to Henderson. Shoots over Curry. Shots good by Henderson. High offensive IQ. He makes great reads and adjustments on the fly. Wiggins with it. Now Curry. There's the triple. 
connects from downtown. As soon as Curry catches it, it's out of his hands. Not much you can do to defend that. Pass to Murray. Here's Henderson. Now Simons, defended by Thompson. Murray for three, the rebound by Klay Thompson. It's been a rough quarter for him. Can't seem to find any kind of rhythm. From 13, and again, it's Golden State. <laughs> An outstanding first quarter from the field. The Trailblazers have gone only two of six from the field. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. Hayden finds Murray. Here's Henderson. Oh, and that one had the right spin on it. It's good. It's a six-point game. Wiggins outside. Outside, green. Pass to Thompson. Six to shoot. Wiggins for three. And the Warriors with another three. The defense is nowhere to be found guarding the three-point shot. Here's Henderson. And here's Aiden. Over to the wing. Pass to Henderson. Puts it up. And he sinks that one, hitting the back of the rim on the way in. He's got six. Golden State has gone three of three from outside and looking sharp here in the first. Back to Curry. Now here's Thompson. He's covered by Simons. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. The Trailblazers have gone four of ten shooting the rock in this first quarter. And that's a foul called on Stephen Curry. That's his first foul of the game. Personal foul. First team foul. Outside Murray. And here's Grant from the arc. Sends it home from three-point land. You know, very few scouts felt that Jeremy Grant would ever become this kind of three-point shooter. Outside Curry. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Portland has gone one of four from deep. Back to Murray. Now here's Aiden. Coming off a 28-point game against Milwaukee. He was really aggressive on the glass, too. He really racked up on the boards out there. Grant's shot is off. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. Back to Thompson. Pass to Curry. And the officials Best will screen. call the illegal screen here. And a chance now to take a look at some numbers for Stephen Curry. One of the trickier plays to judge, but it would be hard to argue against the call. It's often a tough call that can go either way, but I agree with you on that one. Here's Henderson. He's covered by Curry. And there's the whistle. The illegal screen is the call. Already it's February. Let's see how things look out west. You look at the Trailblazers. They're currently in fourth place. A solid spot to be in late in the year. And checking out the Warriors. They're just four spots down from them. Well, I think for the Warriors, they had some lofty goals to start the year. But they may not have the roster to hang with the league's elite teams. I thought this might happen. Confidence can take you a long way, but you also have to have the talent to back it up. Now here's Green. Nine points for him in his last game. And there's Curry on the assist from Green. For three. Curry's got six. <laughs> oh, it's just raiding threes for them early. And after winning MVP honors in 2015, Steph Curry was even better in 2016, taking home another MVP award going back to back. Here's Grant. He had a 24 point outing in their last game against Milwaukee. Again, the miss by the Trailblazers. So far, rebounding has been a focal point for them. 
Thompson passes to Wiggins. To the inside. Green. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. It's going to be on DeAndre Ayton. Great decision from Draymond to go up into the D there with his big body. Such an intelligent player. All right, well, a look at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for the Warriors. Well, in my opinion, the way the three has been falling for them here early on, you have to think they'll keep firing away. Another thing they're doing well early on is moving the ball, playing selfless basketball, and getting everybody involved on the offensive end. And he knocks down the first one. And that 2016 MVP year for Curry, Grant, one of the best regular seasons ever. Oh, so true, B.A. Think about this. The Warriors winning an NBA record 73 games. Steph shattering the three-pointers made record over 400 for the season. Also leading the league in steals. Steph in 15-16, something else, guys. So he makes one of two, and the second one misses. The way Draymond carries himself, plays with a chip on both shoulders, which can be good and bad. The basket counts, and one. He'll go to the line, a chance at a three-point play. Have to take care of the defensive boards better than that. Reason why, lack of focus, lack of communication, which led to second-chance points. Second team foul. Find the lanes. Find the lanes. Find the lanes. DeAndre Beaton. One shot. Yeah, what I appreciate about Aiden is that he wants to keep getting better. You have to be excited about his future. Paul passes to Thompson. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. First personal foul. At the line for the Warriors, Clay Thompson, shooting one. Free throws good from Thompson. And Thompson has such a chill personality. It's why his teammates enjoy playing with him. Now a timeout called by Portland. Portland trailing here. Simons outside. Pass to Murray. Now here's Aiton. Five on the clock. Goes up from the top of the key. That's good on the jumper. Aiton's got five points. Yeah, for a center, Aiton's got a nice jumper. It's a big reason why he went first overall in the draft. Back to Paul. It's deflected. Grab that one. However, so far they're getting a little out hustled on the boards. Here's Grant. Unable to get that one. So Golden State will take it the other way. Last time they met in San Francisco. The yeah, last time out, they barely captured a win against this team. And it came down to some key turnovers. A solid shooter. Once CP3 sees available space, he's going to take that shot. Here's Murray. The Warriors getting their last shot to go. Drives to the hoop. Paul with a steal. The question is, do you leave him in? Obviously, you don't want him to pick up a third foul this early. Malcolm Brogdon's checked in for Portland. The Warriors have got eight of 13 attempts to go. Wiggins outside. Thompson against Simons. Thompson, that's good. And now a 10-point Warrior lead. Defensively, their effort hasn't been great early on. Brockton finds Aiden. Simons up top. 
Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. Some players just need an opportunity to see. Take Anthony Simons. With increased playing time during the 2021-22 season, we saw him take off. Shooting two. No good on that one. Well, for Simons during the 21-22 season, Smitty injuries opened the door. And B.A., not just any injuries. Portland was without Dame Lillard and C.J. McCollum most of that season. And Simons filled the void. His scoring went up about 10 points per game. And he sinks the second. Such an explosive talent. Anthony Simons can carry your offense in stretches when you need that. Wiggins outside. Brogdon against Paul. Goes up at the elbow. Rebound by the Trailblazers. Murray's got five rebounds tonight. And so far, they've had the advantage on the boards. Two minutes remaining in the first. Two Brogdon against Paul. Rebounded by Green. I'll tell you what, I think he thought that was going in. I sure did. Outside Paul. Over Brogdon. That's good from Paul. On the assist from Green. They've been very effective so far. A balanced attack at its best. And it's helped them build an early lead. They just need to stay aggressive. Now here's Grant. He's been a big scorer for this offense, averaging around 20 points a game. Brogdon with a bucket. A jack of all trades, Jeremy Grant also has a strong feel for when his guys are uncovered. Here's Thompson. Eight-point game. Wiggins from long range. Another three for Golden State. And <laughs> they've got the D really. A full three-point attack right off the tip. There's 57 seconds left in the first quarter. Back to Murray. Just five on the clock. Left side, Brogdon. Shoots over Paul. And he gets the friendly roll as that one goes. Brogdon's got his second bucket on the night. Love watching Brogdon make the right reads. He's more than capable of converting catch-and-shoot opportunities. Pass to Thompson. On the wing, Green is covered by Aiden. Green, the pass to Paul. Over Aiden. Paul, shot is off. You won't see him miss that one too many times. Yes, let's look on the bright side. You got a great look. It's a play that you might want to go back to again. Now here's Brogdon. Tight defense on him. And the baseline jumper, no good. Missing that one helps out all the analytical guys from the mid-range. And so it's Clay Thompson making highlights for the Warriors. On the glass, he was an absolute tyrant, just owning the boards. All right, stick around. We'll be right back after this. Jason made another win. Fans have a big round of applause for your trailblazers. Great to have you with us. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. And what do you guys think about the Warriors here in this one? Well, it seems like they went in looking to do damage from long range, and they faced little resistance. Reason why excellent spacing. They may not stay this hot all game, but hard to bet against them. Golden State has gone 5 of 8 from outside the three-point line in this one. Jeremy Grant out there with DeAndre Ayton. Then it's Murray. Then it's Malcolm Brogdon. That's the group in the game for the Trailblazers. And the Trailblazers shooting the ball at 43% from the field to the middle. Cuts off the pass! Kuminga against Tayden. Fades and shoots! Offensive rebound. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Here's a look at what's coming up for the Golden State Warriors. On Saturday, they'll be matching up with LeBron James and the Los Angeles Lakers. And then on Monday, they'll host the Washington Wizards. One way you could look at this difficult stretch against some of the best in the league, it's a tremendous chance to prove to the league just how good your team is. It could provide a huge statement. Oh, 
That free throw no good. You know the point forward is an archetype that by now fans are familiar with. Grant you were one of the OG's at the point forward. How's that position evolved in your mind. Well it's evolved because so many players today have the skill set to be a point forward. Before me there were guys like Paul Pressey and Scottie Pippen in the 80s and early 90s. But as I said players today the skill level is so elite and with this positionless basketball that we're in you must have a point forward or two on your team to be successful. Brogdon from outside doesn't go in two for four in this game the Warriors leading pass to Wiggins here's Kaminga and he lays it up and in. Coming has gotten his first bucket of the night. What a job Wiggins has done with his passing skills. Significantly improved over the years. And we played just over a minute of basketball in the second quarter. To the paint. And Aiden gets it to go. Aiden's got seven points in the game. So impressed with that bucket by Aiden. Fantastic body control from the big man. Wiggins finds Paul. Got a piece of it. That shot is off. And it's Portland the other way. And at home for the next one, it'll be Oklahoma City pulling in. That game will be the third of five at home. Henderson. Grant's shot is off. The Warriors have gotten only one of four shots to go in. Two minutes now played in the second quarter. Wiggins passes to Paul. Ooh, Aiden with the block. Yeah, Aiden has all the physical gifts of a great shot blocker. Size, length, and agility. Golden State has gone five of eight from outside the three-point line in this one. Guarded by Brogdon. Wiggins outside. He drops it from range. 11 points in the game. Yeah, from the perimeter, Wiggins can be very, very efficient. You just can't allow him to find those looks. And here's Brogdon. 15 in his last outing. That one drops four. Murray's got his second basket on the night. Getting enough shots in close to play inside out. Timeout called the Warriors. And after spending his first three seasons with the Bucks, Malcolm Brogdon was part of a sign and trade. Just a great move for his career. Curry, he's checked in for the Warriors. And we are so close to seeing the final list of dunk contest participants. And you know anyone who might compete in this is so pumped. Who wouldn't be? I mean, if you're on that list, you have to start practicing. Working with teammates to create new and different dunks. Well, you look at Murray. He's a long shot at this point, but you never know. Well, we'll just have to see. But I personally would love seeing him in the dunk contest. And we are very close to announcing our dunk contest participants. The final list is coming soon. If the contest ends up being that list, I'd be very happy with it. What a group that is. And after that 2018 sign and trade, Malcolm Brogdon got an expanded role, Grant. He really did. I mean, Brogdon becoming more of a ball handler, a chance to shine offensively. His numbers as a result have exploded since that deal. Here's Kuminga. Yep, that one's good. And the Warriors lead by nine. Not just selling for something along the perimeter. Excellent job. And here in the second quarter of action, as we approach four minutes played, Henderson misses. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. The Trailblazers have gone three for seven here in the second quarter. Pass to Murray. Excellent D there from Wiggins. He's doing what he can to help them cut into this lead. His shot just isn't quite there tonight. Curry. The three. It's rebounded by Grant. Grant's got five rebounds tonight. Started out strong from three-point land. Hit two in the first quarter, but he's gone dry since. Pass to Murray. Shoots over Curry. Again, the miss by the Trailblazers. 
Golden State has gone one for three from downtown here in the second. Wiggins with it. 4-3. It's rebounded by Grant. Here's Murray. And he drives in. And it's Murray finishing it off. Just a such a terrific State. dunker. Man, born to fly, that's for sure. Time called here. The Warriors decide to talk it over. <laughs> and we'd all love to hear what goes on in those huddles. But we just get the snapshots. No, we're left to infer from the adjustments we see on the floor. Robert Williams checked in for DeAndre Ayton. And as the leaderboard shows, these teams have really dominated the offensive glass so far this year. The Trailblazers in second. They're having success because they're sending multiple guys to the offensive glass. Hard to block out everyone. And the Warriors with possession here. Back to Curry. Now the Blazers on the move. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. If they keep finding steals like that, they won't be in the hole much longer. First team foul. At the line for your Trailblazers. Henderson. Mind the lane. Shooting one. One shot. Golden State has gone 6 for 12 from deep so far in this game. Murray against Wiggins. And too long on the shot. Now Portland with it. A big stretch here going. 10 to 2. Pass to Brogdon. Grand in the post. Kaminga's on him. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. How about the last couple of years for Jeremy Grant? B.A., 6'8", playing a three or the four. He's really found some comfort in scoring the basketball. Followed up his best season with another great offensive performance last year. Shooting two. That one falls for Grant. He came into this league as a defensive specialist. Now Jeremy Grant is becoming an offensive powerhouse. And so he makes both from the line. They found their rhythm at the free throw line this quarter, trying hard to make up ground. Pass to Green. Over Williams. And again, no good by Golden State. For Portland, they've gotten five of their first 11 shots to fall here in the second quarter. The all-around game of Brockton. I mean, he's all for doing what's best for the team. A selfless passer. Here's Curry. He's got six. Pass to Kaminga. And here's Wiggins. Gets the three ball to go. And the Warriors lead by three. How can you leave this guy that wide open? Please. That's terrible. Here's Henderson. He's covered by Curry. Shoots from 12. They get it again. Williams. Green with the defensive effort. Golden State has gone 7 of 13 from downtown so far in this game. Let's it go from 11. Kuminga's shot is off. For Portland, they've gone 6 of 14 in the second quarter. Here's Grant. That one's good for two. Grant's got four points now in the quarter. You know, there's some power to Jeremy's game now. He's become hard to knock off balance. Wiggins for three. Another three for Golden State. Back-to-back -back threes, making their defense work on the perimeter a bit. Outside Brogdon. 
Here's Henderson. 35 points for him last game against Milwaukee. We also got to mention what he did on the defensive end. Racked up a number of steals, too. Golden State has gone three of six from outside in the second quarter. And the foul on the shot. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Now a moment to take a look at the year-to-year -year scoring output and how it's been trending for Malcolm Brogdon. And the scoring trend over the last few years has been going down a bit. That's not what you want, and I'm sure it's something he's well aware of. Two shots. Last on the first. That one misses. They've been struggling at the line since the end of the first quarter. Not the best way to protect a lead. He hits the second from the line. For Portland, they've gotten seven of 16 shots to go in the second. Pass to Murray. Here's Henderson. Now here's Williams. Here's Henderson. 11 points in the game. Takes a three. Rebounded by Green. Green's got his fifth rebound in this one. That's tipped. And here's Curry for three. Yes, and a nice assist from Thompson. Curry's got nine points. And what's working here? Each guy is willing to make the next pass. Murray for three. Hits the trifecta. Anything you can do, I can do better. <laughs> that one felt a little personal right there. Sometimes it's a matter of pride. Anderson back with a three of his own. Now a timeout called by Golden State. And the Blazers making a change here. Simons checked in. Here's Curry. Last game out, he had 44. Pass to Thompson. Back to Curry. From deep. The shot, no good. And it's Portland the other way. Outside Brogdon. Now Murray. The jump hook. That one's wide left. Golden State has gone 50% from the perimeter in this second. Shooting four of eight. Curry passes to Thompson. Down low. Shot clock at six. Curry, no good. His struggles from the field continue. Yet, they still hold the lead. Left side, Murray. It's rebounded by Golden State. He is so good attacking the rim. It's rare to see him denied like that. And that one's good. Green. That's been typical of their performance today. They're sharing the ball and creating good shots. Simons outside. Pass to Murray. Back to Simons. Launches it. It's good. And the assist goes to Murray. Murray's got five assists in the game. Wiggins outside. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. Back to Curry. From behind the arc. Drops in the three. Curry's got six in the quarter. It will be a rare night that you're going to outdo Stephen Curry in a game of matching threes. Brogdon, the pass to Graham. To the left wing. Simons outside. Pass to Brogdon. From downtown. It's rebounded by Golden State. Wiggins has got his sixth rebound on the night. Over Brogdon. Curry's shot is off. Portland trailing here. Brogdon, the pass to Simons. A minute six left to play in the second quarter. 
and they call an illegal screen here. And so many games come down to what you do at the line. Here are the shooting guards you'd want there this year. Clay Thompson fourth. This is a group with the ability to drive looking for contact because they all know they'll convert at the free throw line. Give them all credit for the work they put in to become such great free throw shooters. Trust me, it takes a lot of work to shoot those kinds of percentages. Wiggins outside. Pass to Curry. Fires the three. That won't go either for Curry. Portland has gone three for seven from the perimeter during the second quarter. Brockton against Curry. Outside Murray. The shot no good. Excellent D there from Wiggins. The Warriors leading. Pass to Green. Here's Curry. And that comes off the assist by Green. Assist from Green's got his third assist of the night. He is at a different level when you start talking about handling the basketball. One of the best to ever do it. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It's on Stephen Curry. Third personal foul. Third team foul. At the line for Portland, Malcolm Brogdon. At the line for two. Shooting two. And that one falls for Brogdon. So both teams changing it up here. It's both from the strike. We've seen him put a lot of pressure on the defense and then cash in at the line. And so it's the Golden State Warriors closing out the quarter with a seven-point lead. They've been very effective from the three-point line. That's the Warriors. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson. Shaq is here. Kenny's here. You're watching the NBA Halftime Show on 2K Sports. Andrew Wiggins was the man in the first. He ended up with 15 points, seven rebounds, and seven assists. Hey, big fella, what's your take on Golden State so far? The way they're shooting in from deep, they're going to be hard to beat. This team has a lot of confidence and lets it fly without hesitation. Defensively, you have to force them off the spot. Kenny, let's get your insight on Portland. They haven't been able to get anything going on the offensive end. And the lack of production doesn't just go on the first place. The game plan that the coaches have, it's whack. It doesn't work. And that's a wrap for our halftime show. The third quarter just about to get started. And we played through the first half. Plenty of basketball left in this one. How about Andrew Wiggins? Man, is he playing well. And how about his dime dropping in the first half? That was something else. The engine that makes them run. He's been able to push the action, and he's making great decisions. Warriors ball starts the second half. Here's Curry. Let's hear it for your Blazers. Deep. On the floor for the Warriors. Thompson the two with Wiggins at the three. Then there's Stephen Curry. Then there's Draymond Green. The three sinks it from distance. What a look from Steph Curry. Just shredding defenses with pinpoint passes to open teammates. Pass to Murray. Now Simons fires from deep. It's good. And the assist goes to Murray. Simons got seven points. And both teams running long-range plays that are working. How often do we see this these days? Clubs answering each other from range. Green against Tatum. Green, the pass to Curry. Shoots it from the corner, and it's good. Off the back rim and in. 
he's got 16. When Steph Curry gets in a groove like this, it's trouble for the defense. I'm not sure how they can stop him. Oh, it's blocked by Green. Simon's shot is good. The Warriors shooting 47% on this one. Looking efficient. On the wing, Thompson. He's covered by Simons. And that one's good. Thompson. And the Warriors lead by nine. Three straight to begin this half. Couldn't have drawn it up any better. Here's Henderson. He's covered by Curry. Clock at six. To the inside. Ooh, Thompson with the block. Don't let Clay Thompson scoring overshadow what he gives you at the defensive end. Wiggins outside. Curry with it. He's got 16. And there's the whistle. The illegal screen is the call. Well, the league has put an emphasis to crack down on illegal screens. Yes, the last few years, the rules changes have tended to benefit the offenses. This evens things out a bit. We got to see that one again. That block was all-out effort. Yeah, good offense comes from great defense. This lead is only getting stronger with plays like that. And Portland has possession. They trail by seven. Simons outside. And he's going for the oop here. And stolen by Green. And here's Thompson for three. And that comes off the assist by Green. For three. Green's got five assists in the game. And coming out of halftime, coach said they wanted to start fast. How's four for four? Timeout called. Portland. One of the stories here, Clay Thompson. Man, is he getting it done today? Good decision to regather. Talk it over. Your main concern now is how to slow this guy down on the offensive end. A little under two and a half minutes gone by in the third quarter. Pass to Aiden. Wiggins against Murray. Here's Henderson. He's got 11. Here's Aiden. And Aiden with the stuff. I mean, come on. A seven footer with a seven five wingspan. Aiden beats everyone to the ball and converts easily. Pass to Green. Wiggins outside. Down to five on the shot clock. Up top, Thompson. Shoots over Simons. Thompson's shot is off. And that's their first miss after hitting four in a row to start the half. Outside Murray. Now Graham. There's Simons with a three. And again, it's the Trailblazers from deep. Showing the quickness. Nice catch and shoot by Anthony. Thompson outside. In the third quarter with just over three and a half minutes off the clock. Shot is good by Curry. Easy look when the defender isn't fighting over the screen. Reason why it takes extra energy to do it. You have to trust your defensive rotations, but it's worth it. Murray against Wiggins. They grab their own miss. You know, we talk a lot about scoring efficiency. He's displaying the exact opposite. Here's Curry. And there's another one for the Warriors. He's really finding his rhythm here. I mean, smart move to keep feeding him the ball. Let him decide whether to shoot it, whether to pass it. He's your catalyst right now. Murray passes to Graham. Pass to Henderson. Puts up a three. And again, it's Portland with a three. In full-on catch-up mode. They're raining threes right now. Up top, Thompson. He's covered by Simons. And here is Green. Out to Thompson. Let's it go from deep. The rebound by Murray. 
Portland has gotten all three from downtown so far in the second half. That's his fourth foul of the evening. He needs to be careful now. Pick and choose where to be aggressive. Substitution for the Warriors. Devon Looney, number two. Warriors ball starts the second half. Let's hear Outside it. Curry. Blazers D. Thompson finds Curry. And again, no good by Golden State. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. You just missed it. Murray passes to Aiden. It's good. And the assist goes to Murray. Murray's got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. Thompson outside. Back to Curry. From deep three-point range. The long distance three is buried. Curry's got 24 points. His shot making has been superb this quarter. He's taken over this game. Portland calls timeout. Robert Williams checked in for Portland. For your blazer dancer. Aiden with it. Now Thompson defending. Aiden passes to Murray. Looking to get back on track. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. <laughs> no debate there. He got hammered. Team foul. And a moment to check out the scoring breakdown for the Warriors. It's just a passing clinic from them in this game. Solid communication and unselfish play all around. Also, they were ultra consistent from outside, hitting a high percentage of those shots tonight. Free throw drops from Murray. And Murray drops them both. The Warriors have gone 7 of 10 here in the second half. Thompson outside. He's covered by Simons. Thompson outside. Six on the shot clock. Off target with the three. Portland trailing here. Now Murray. He's got 11. Pass to Henderson. Who poked away. It's stolen by Curry. And the Warriors pushing it up now. The three ball gets the three to fall. Curry's got 13 in the second half. He's putting them to the test this quarter, attacking every chance he gets. Curry with a steal. It's a one-on-one -on -one situation. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. We know he's comfortable with shooting the three ball, but he's becoming very comfortable inside the paint, drawing fouls, scoring, or getting to the free throw line. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And that one falls for Curry. When you think of Curry, his shooting is what comes to mind always, specifically how quick his release is. Sharp, he's checked in for Murray. And so Curry nails both of them. Portland has gotten all three from downtown so far in the second half. Pass to Sharp. Now here's Aiden. 11 points in the game. Here's Henderson. They get it back. Great 
positioning on the putback. Just great positioning to get the rebound, then get it back up. Williams defending. Back to Curry. Six to shoot. Two open that time. Made it look easy. Curry's got 31. He's been a big factor in their offense tonight, making shot after shot. Pass to Sharp. Back to Simons. He's covered by Simons. Here's Thompson. And again, it's Golden State. This is how dangerous Klay Thompson is from the mid-range. His shot looks just like the free throw. Oh, and the jam by Aiton. Hey, kept it simple. No reason to get fancy right now, B.A. Yeah, he's just looking to find shots and produce for his team. Here's Thompson. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. Klay Thompson draws fouls because he looks to score often, forcing defenders to overplay their hand. Clay Thompson taking two shots. Take a break, take a break. Two shots. That free throw is good from Thompson. And the Warriors making a switch here. Paul's checked in. Both free throws good from Thompson. And really strong at the line since the break. Portland has gone three of four from outside in the second half. Simons outside. Outside, Williams. Pass to Sharp. Here's Henderson. He's got 14. First personal foul. Second team foul. Warriors ball starts the second half. Let's hear it for your Blazers D. Williams defending. Right wing. Shot clock at six. 19 footer. And Aiden pulls it down. Aiden's got rebound number seven tonight. One thing they've done well tonight, and that's rebounding. Pass to Sharp. Now here's Williams. Oh, they get a hand on it. And here's Simons. Offensively, he's been a force. He's putting up around 19 points a game. Yep, that one goes. Williams has gotten his second bucket of the game. And they keep on figuring out ways to force the rock inside and convert. Here's Paul. The three is up. Drills it from deep. He has six. Here in the second half, they're really focused on stretching the floor. This was obviously a focal point coming out of the break. Look smart when the shots are going down. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Second personal foul. Hey, if you can't block it, sending him to the line can be the next the best thing. For Portland, Robert Williams. At the line for two. He misses the free throw. And the second free throw is good. 151 left in the third. 
He's covered by Simons. Outside Paul. From 10 feet away. And again, it's Golden State. Always a threat to rise up on you. Chris Paul, one of the most complete players you'll ever see. Here's Henderson. He's guarded by Paul. Here's Simons. Takes the assist and lays it in. Nice setup. Simons got 12 now in this quarter. They're finding ways to get the ball into the paint. Five consecutive buckets. Pass to Thompson. Here's Paul. Out on his own on the break. And down it goes. Jam that one home. Playing from behind, it's amazing he chose a dunk with that high a difficulty rating. Yeah, no question. That was a stellar move with plenty of swagger. Thompson passes to Paul. Unloads from 13. The basket's good. Off the assist from Thompson. Thompson's got five assists tonight. Simons outside. Pass to Williams. Here's Sharp. Here's Henderson. Knocks down the triple. 19 points in the game. Here we go. His second bay from beyond the arc in the second half after having no such luck in the first. Outside Paul. He's covered by Simons. Outside Paul. Clock at four. It's hauled in by the Trailblazers. Analytics already don't favor the mid-range jumper, let alone against exceptional defense. And so it's the Golden State Warriors ending the quarter up 10. Really mucking it up on defense. Active hands, multiple efforts. And a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. And I'll tell you what, this was a no-brainer tonight. Take a look at the precision on this feed. Couldn't place it any better. This is why you preach teamwork. Some of the most spectacular plays are the ones where guys are feeding off one another. Fourth quarter action is upon us. Thanks, as always, for joining us. We've got Anthony Simons, Murray out there with Jeremy Grant. Then it's DeAndre Ayton. That's the group in the game for the Trailblazers. And here's Simons outside. Oh, and the jam by Aiton. And this is how dynamic Aiton can be on the offensive end. Keep getting him the ball, please. Pass to Green. Thompson outside. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. He took the contact and had an opportunity to drain it. Shooting for Golden State. Clay Thompson at the line for two. Shooting two. First free throw is good. Free throws good from Thompson. And the Trailblazers shooting about 48% from the floor. Pretty good. Here's Henderson. He's guarded by Paul. Shots good by Henderson. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. Outside Curry. Outside Green. Pass to Kaminga. The fader. It's hauled in by the Trailblazers. Grant's got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. Here's Henderson. He gets it in there. Give him 23. That's a nice read. The value of keeping your eyes up. Thompson outside. Outside Paul. Paul. 
Outside Curry. This one for three. Yes. And it's Paul with the assist that time. Three points. Curry's got 34 points. Down the stretch. This is when they need him the most. And he is delivering. Murray against Thompson. Back to Simons. Releases. And the Blazers getting another bucket right there. And coming down the stretch, both teams still playing fantastic offense. Yes, and if you love offense, you're loving this matchup. It's been a highlight reel affair. Great anticipation defensively. I love how he turned an easy look into a difficult play. And you know, technically, it's a high percentage look. But this is why we play the game. Outside Paul, 19-footer. The rebound by Murray. Murray's got 11 rebounds in the game. Over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. Here's Aiton. Green with the defensive effort. The Warriors have gone one of four since the fourth quarter began. On the wing, Thompson. Here's Kaminga. Ooh, the lead pass was in the perfect spot to set up the layup. And the Warriors lead by seven. Simons outside. Pass to Murray. Shoots over Thompson. Murray, no good. Oh, man. He hasn't had the rhythm tonight. Tried to make up for it there, but it just wasn't meant to be. The Trailblazers have gone five of eight from the field so far in the fourth. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. And this is just typical of him. Always making an impact at crucial moments in the game. It's the fourth quarter, and it's a close game. You want to get the ball to someone you can rely on. Paul finds Curry. And here is Thompson. Paul for three. The shot comes out. So the Trailblazers will take it the other way. So frustrating when you can't get anything to go down as you're trying to help your team finish the job. Jonathan Kaminga, second personal foul, first team foul. At the line for your Trailblazers, Jeremy Grant taking two shots. That one falls for Grant. Wiggins, he's checked in for Chris Paul. And so Grant nails them both. The Warriors have gone two for seven from the field here in the fourth. Not great. Here's Henderson. He takes it in. There's Simons with a three. Kaminga pulls it in. Golden State has gone one of two from deep in this quarter. to the paint. Here's Curry. Hey, great D that time from Grant. Portland has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. The ball's knocked loose. Wiggins with it. Back to Kaminga. The shot off that time. Hey, great D that time from Grant. Grant throws it down. This is a familiar sight. Jeremy Grant making his way to the rim and finishing strong. Timeout, timeout. Golden State calls timeout. And there's nothing more frustrating for a coach than seeing his team giving up a bunch of second chance points. That's going to be the main topic during this timeout. Make some noise for your Blazer dancer. Hey, 
in from the sideline. Let's catch up with Allie. I was able to listen in on what Steve Kerr had to say to the team. With the game being this tight, each possession takes on a greater importance. He told his players, quote, be in the moment. If something doesn't go our way, don't dwell on it. Focus on the next play. Guys. As always, Allie, we thank you. Wiggins passes to Thompson. Outside Curry. To stop the drought. And Aiden pulls it down. Aiden's got 10 rebounds here tonight. So active. Henderson. He buries it from three. 26 points for him. And a nice bump for their offense this half. Now shooting over 50% for the game. Outside Curry. Three-pointer. And the Warriors miss again. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Here's Murray. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. It's on Stephen Curry. He had a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Trailblazers. High effort, fast break plays. They have been very effective for them in this game. Generating a lot of points for them. Also, lots of hustle on the offensive end. Following shots and creating tons of second chance opportunities. Free throw drops from Murray. And Murray drops them both. The Warriors trailing. Outside Curry. Trailblazers foul. Henderson. Fourth personal foul. Second team foul. And the Warriors with possession here. To end the run. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. Good work by Wiggins going right into the coverage. Now, he knows how to get himself to the line and get the shot off. Andrew Wiggins. Two shots. Shoot two. That free throw misses. And he can't hit the second. They've been dominating the boards tonight, yet it's still a close game. Simons has the open look. Rebounded by Green. Green's got seven rebounds in the game. Rebound by the Trailblazers. Aiden's got the glass covered here tonight. That's 11 boards for him. And he lobs it up top. Throw it down on the lob. Excellent timing by Aiden on the alley-oop pass. He's perfectly positioned to throw it down. Here's Curry. And the layup is good off the glass. Curry's got five points now in the quarter. It's amazing. No one can check him right now, but there's still work to do to cut into this lead. Here's Henderson. Warriors with the rebound. Green with the ball. Picked up by Grant. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. And really, credit Green for getting the favorable position down inside, forcing the D's hand there. Shooting for Golden State, Draymond Green at the line for two. Shooting two.
Free throw good. Green. Good on the second, so he makes them both. They're finding a rhythm from the line as they try to cut into this deficit. Pass to Henderson. Now Murray. Here's Henderson. He takes a three. Yes, and it's Murray picking up the assist. That's 29 for him. That's exactly the kind of shooting you need down the stretch to win games. Wiggins outside. Green for three. The shot that time not on target. And the Trailblazers go on the other way now. And it's Simons missing. Man, miss after miss for him. When you're having a quarter like this, the only beneficiary is the defense. Back to Curry. Green in the post. He's covered by Aiden. And it's Green missing. Hey, the struggle is real. He hasn't found much success with his offense today. Left side, Murray. Pass to Henderson. Five to shoot. Shoots over Curry. Henderson misses. Empty possession, and you don't want to miss these easy looks. Thompson outside. Wiggins outside. Back to Green. Now Wiggins, defended by Murray. Let's the three fly. The offensive rebound. And that one's good. In crunch time, trying to get the foul, the bucket, or both. Portland leading. Simons outside. Pass to Henderson. Wiggins against Murray. Here's Henderson. Three-pointer, no good. To the middle. The kick out to Wiggins. Outside Curry to tie it up. Fires in the triple. Curry's got 39. You expect he's going to find a way to pull through in the clutch. Pass to Graham. And it's cleared by Stephen Curry. The Warriors shooting just 28% during this fourth quarter. Oh, the go-ahead bucket, no good. Portland has got two of five threes to go here in the fourth. Here's Henderson. He's covered by Curry. It's good. Give it 31 now. Fantastic decision making. Aiden electing to move it for the high percentage look. Now here's Curry. The D's right on him. Thompson passes to Wiggins. Green for three. Cortland grabs the miss. Aiden's got 13 rebounds in the game. Glass eating. Here's Henderson. Here's Grant. Oh, Grant throws it down. You see the trust this team has in Grant's ability to step up in crucial times. Curry passes to Thompson. Murray against Wiggins. Now here's Thompson. And again, no good by Golden State. Up top, Grant. He can't hit that time. The Warriors go the other way with it. Count it and the foul. That's on Anthony Simons. There is absolutely no fear in his eyes. He loves the moment. Incredible shot with everything on the line coming through for his team.
Wiggins no good on that. And Wiggins doesn't shy away from getting to the line, especially when games are tight. Hayden finds Murray. Here's Henderson. He connects! Time out, time out. Oh, nice feed. On time and on target. Time called here. The Warriors decide to talk it over. They trail by four. 36 seconds left in the fourth. And now let's take a look at the New Balance Player of the Game. This has been one of the most dominant performances I've ever seen. What's incredible is he has no off switch, but just a tremendous motor. And he's making an impact on every single possession. And look at him. You think it's just another game. He is totally in control of his emotions. Thirty-six seconds left in the fourth. Shoots from the baseline. Rebound by the Trailblazers. And so they foul intentionally. Third personal foul. Third team foul. Here's Henderson. And they go to the intentional foul. Step in third. Fifth personal foul. Fourth team foul. At the line for the Trailblazers. He drops the first one, and that puts him up five. one is good getting both at the line and it's a six-point ball game you can't afford to waste any chances at this stage of the game that means you gotta hit your free throws and the Warriors call time here they're behind by six and we've got 28 seconds left in the game And we've got 28 seconds left to play in the fourth. Goes back up. Tries yet again. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. Personal foul. What a fantastic pump fake from Stephen Curry. So crafty of keeping the defense consistently off balance. Stephen Curry taking two shots. Shooting two. He gets the first, and that brings him within five. And so Curry nails both of them. A guy who hits over 90% from the line for his career, Curry trying to put his team over the hump here. And they stop the clock as soon as they can with the intentional foul. Yeah, and there's no question they have to foul. Now, I'm sure they would have preferred to avoid it. And taking two shots. Two. Two. He hits the first one, and that puts him up five. And he cannot convert on the second. That misses. Here's Golden State. And here's Curry for three. And again for three. Buries his tenth triple of the game. Unbelievable, B.A. Unbelievable. And now an intentional foul. They need the ball back as soon as possible. And a smart choice right there. I mean, you can't allow them to just drain the clock. Two shots. Two. 
First free throw is good. And that makes it a three-point lead. The development of Simons over the last few years has been incredible. He's shown he can be a lead ball handler and someone who can get you a bucket when needed. And that's a wrap. Those free throws being the nail in the coffin. Curry finds Green from deep. No luck on that one. So a close game sees Portland taking this one. This one was in the balance right until the final seconds. And B.A., they showed their character when it mattered most, sending those fans home happy. And that about... Portland leading by six. Murray out there with Jeremy Grant. Then it's Anthony Simon. Then it's DeAndre Ayton. And it's Henderson in at the one. That's the group on the floor for Portland. He's going to put that one in his scrapbook. Insane dunk. And now they're starting to rub it in. Build up a lead. And here we go, baby. It is showtime. Now here's Wiggins. Can't hit from 12. And usually that's a bucket for him. But look, nobody's perfect in the mid-range. Pass to Simons. Left side, Grant. He kicks it to Henderson. From deep, three-point range. And the ball out of play. The Warriors will inbound. Looking now at some numbers for Stephen Curry. Warriors trail by eight. to Wiggins Thompson in the corner to the inside six on the shot clock fires from deep the Warriors keep it going a new 14 second shot clock and the Warriors miss again that's not how you want to come out of the break three straight misses they need to settle in quick two free throws coming up and they call the shooting foul Clay Thompson second personal foul First team foul. The Trailblazers have been a perfect eight of eight at the line. And taking two shots. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes the first. And Simons drops them both. No surprise there. He's about as automatic as it gets from the stripe. I hope I didn't jinx him. Wiggins kicks to Curry. Golden State moving the ball around. It's tipped. And it's out of bounds. The Warriors able to retain possession here. The field for the three-point contest is about to be finalized. And I'll tell you, we have some shooters here who are going to make this year's event a very heated competition. Kevin, it always is. There's more pride involved in the three-point contest than in any other part of All-Star Weekend. Each one of those guys wants to prove they are the best shooter in the world. You take a look at Simon. He's got a place in the three-point contest within his reach. I hope he makes it because I know how much this would mean to him to be a part of the event. I mean, that's a good call, Kevin. He's the type of player that can really deliver on a stage like that. He'll be very dangerous if he ultimately gets in. And the excitement for this year's three-point contest keeps growing as we get closer to All-Star Weekend. Some amazing shooters in line to take part. Hard to pick a winner out of that group of contenders, but safe to say it's going to be a lot of fun to watch. I'd love to see them impose themselves a little more on the backboard. That's a great way to find confidence. Always a surefire way to get back in the game. 
Grant against Green. No good there. Some solid defense from Grant. Portland leading by nine. Inside. Aiton. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. They're doing a really good job of getting the ball inside and attacking the paint. That's an area they have completely dominated. For his position, DeAndre Ayton is exceptionally well equipped. Yeah, are you talking about those long arms, that seven foot six wingspan? Yeah, those will help you knock away a few shots or pluck down a few rebounds out of the air. That is no question. Free throw drops for Aiton. You know, so much hype around Aiton. Has that rare combination of NBA-ready body, productivity, and upside. And the Warriors miss again. And here's Aiton. He'll bring it up for the Portland Trailblazers. The 12-point lead, their biggest of the game. Henderson passes to Aiton. And closing the shot, even with the foul. Now the two free throws. Third personal foul. Greg, you look at a player Third putting up big foul. numbers on a losing team. How do you determine if those are quality numbers, yeah. so to speak? You know, Kevin, it's a great question because somebody's going to put up points or collect rebounds or get assists. So, you know, you look at efficiency, you look at effort, and there's no doubt that you can have winning players on losing teams. And he knocks down the first one impeccable from the line since halftime. Aiton hits them both. Third quarter action and just under three and a half minutes have gone. Curry dishes to Thompson. Green kicks to Wiggins. Green against Zayton. And there's the whistle. Illegal screen. And a moment here to check out who the Golden State Warriors have coming up. On Saturday, they'll go up against LeBron James and the Los Angeles Lakers. Then on Monday, they'll host the Washington Wizards. And if I'm this team, I'm looking at this as a barometer to see how we stack up against some of the top teams in the league. They'll have to be at their best. But if they come out of this with some success, I think it'll build momentum for the rest of the run. Now here's Henderson. Grant gets a wide open look. Grant's the three-pointer. Grant's got 15 points. And I love Grant's mindset. Readies himself to shoot as soon as he touches the ball. Timeout called the Warriors. Well, it's been an express lane to the rim. Coach can't be happy about that. Yeah, we can see over here the coach he has some choice words for his team. Words we cannot repeat. Warriors trailed by 17. And the pass to Thompson. Now here's Green to halt the run. Henderson pulls it in. And this is the type of game you just throw away as a player. He has yet to score a point and looks completely flustered. Simons against Thompson. Here's Murray. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. First, yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. And a look now at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Trailblazers. Warriors trail by 20. He's covered by Grant. Down to five on the shot clock. A three-pointer. Wiggins rebounded by DeAndre Ayton. Ayton's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. 
Henderson with it. He's got 12. And Henderson throws it down hard. Yeah, letting it rip. They're just having fun right now. Man, their offense is clicking. Players, coaches, everybody, they are in sync. Timeout called the Warriors. Yeah, things not going their way, and he wants to just try to talk this one over. Good timeout, if you ask me. They have the momentum, and Coach wants to find a way to try and stop it. Ball checked in for Wiggins. Show some love, everybody. On defense, Portland. Since the second half started, they've only given up three points. Thompson passes to Curry. They could use a bucket. Shot is good off the back rim and in. Thompson's got 11. The way that Curry reads the floor, he could get double-digit assist on any night if he wanted to. Thompson against Murray. Over Thompson. Murray, no good. And it's Thompson with the ball. He'll bring it up for Golden State. Feeds to Paul. That's in. Coming off the assist from Thompson. 16 points for him. Sometimes you just got to do it yourself. Chris Paul calling his own number. Simons kicks to Anderson. Passes to Ayton. In the corner, Murray with it. Into the lane. Second shot opportunity. And another shot. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway. So a three-point play chance for him. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. At the line for your Trailblazers, Murray. One shot. throw good Murray now here's Paul he's got 16 to the paint Green kicks to Paul just four to shoot no good on that one trailblazers leading by 21 Murray outside. Pass to Ayton. Henderson against Paul. Shoots from the right block. Henderson, no good. Golden State's gotten one of six three-pointers to drop since coming out of the locker room at halftime. Here's Curry. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Curry's got five points in the quarter. How do you stop Curry? Well, in a short answer, you can't. Pass to Simons. Back to Anderson. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Draymond Green. Second personal foul. Penalty. At the line for your Trailblazers. Henderson. Shooting two. Two shots. First one falls for. Both free throws good from Henderson. Richard, 2004 was the last time that the NBA expanded. Now, some say Seattle and maybe Las Vegas could before long have teams of their own. What do you think? Oh, please. 
please give me Seattle back. Please give me Vegas back. Do you know what I would give to have those two cities back in our league and to have to travel to them? Look, but you must have deep pockets. Let's be honest with yourself. The franchises now are selling for over $3 billion. You got to think that the expansion fee will at least be that much per team. Some nice passing by Golden State. But three. And the Warriors get it back. That one falls. He's got nine. Second chance points always hurt. Just not enough effort to block out. Yeah, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say they need to emphasize rebounding going forward. Now, here's Grant. 15 points in the game. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. Bucket is good. Paul. Paul's got four this quarter. It's just one of those nights where he's been very good, but his team is losing, and that's just an odd feeling. Murray, the pass to Grant. Now Murray, from past the arc. Offensive rebound. And Aiton throws it down. And using that 7-5 wingspan, putting it back off the miss. One of Aiton's specialties. Here's the pass to Kerr. No good on the three. And so it's Murray with it. He brings it up for Portland. 22 is their biggest lead. Aiton inside. Guarded by Kirk. And there's the whistle on the shot. Took the foul. Shot misses. He'll be shooting two. An absolute beast inside. Love how Aiden uses his size to draw these fouls. Taking two shots. Shooting two. Free throw drops for Aiden. No good on the second, so he hits one of two. Grant. Well, it was only a matter of time, but they finally get the bucket. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. Back to Paul. Curry looking around. From deep. It's hauled in by the Trailblazers. Murray's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Simons, the pass to Murray. It's picked off. He's covered by Murray to the middle, and he jams it with authority. That's a double whammy, guys. <laughs> That's right. A great defensive play, then the emphatic stuff. <laughs> Once he poked it away, you knew what was on his mind. Now here's Murray. 19 points in the game. And the officials call him for a three-second violation. Golden State ball. Here's Curry. 13 points in the game. Launches it. Good for basket number six from him in the contest. He's shooting six for 12. Simply the greatest shooter we have ever seen. Every time he makes another three-pointer, He's adding to the record. Now, here's eight. He's got 15. Passes it to Henderson. Aiton dishes to Murray. Shot clock at five. Oh, Aiton in position. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Chris Paul picks up that one. At the line for your Trailblazers. Henderson, two shots. Shooting two. The first free throw is good.
Both free throws good from Henderson. Didn't get to the line in the first half, but since the break, he's been in attack mode. Great adjustment. Paul kicks to Curry. And there are the Warriors now with another bucket. Obviously, this guy has a talent for scoring. Able to problem solve for whatever the defense tosses at him. Here's Murray. He's got 19. Back to Simons. Good, and the assist goes to Murray. Simons has got 15 points. And his ability to efficiently score, that's really helped him out in this one. Putting them ahead on the scoreboard. Let's it go from the wing. And another basket for Golden State. Chris Paul is always thinking pass first. He's so good at finding his teammates, especially when they're open. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Murray. A classic breakdown with the ball, sending it right out of bounds and giving the defense a freebie. For the Trailblazers, Robert Williams is checked in for Murray. And Brogdon subbed in for Anferni Simons. Warriors trailed by 17. Outside Curry. Paul against Henderson. Paul passes to Green. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Second. Yeah, just nice strength there. And then just off with the shot. The Warriors shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. And typically a strength of theirs, 79% on the season. First free throw is good, and the Warriors making a change here. Wiggins is checked in. And he makes both free throws. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Henderson dishes to Williams. Pass to Brogdon. For three. Sinks the three-pointer. Brogdon's got eight. Well, it's much easier to space the floor when you have effective shooters like Brogdon on your roster. Here's Paul. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. How about battling through the impact there and then willing that basketball in? This will be his third free throw shot of the game. Chris Paul at the line for one. And the leadership Paul brings to this team is so incredibly important. His teammates really rally behind him. And so it's Portland riding a 15-point lead at the end of the quarter. And their ability to get points in the paint has made all the difference in this one. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. And let's take this opportunity now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. And how about the big fella here showing us he's got some point guard skill here with the tremendous setup. And for the defense, it's so tough to guard a big man with that kind of court vision and dime-dropping ability. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. So with Thompson sitting on the bench, here's the group that Steve Kerr has on the floor. It's Brockton, top of the key. Shot clock at six. Stripped away. And here is Paul.
Higgins outside. Jacks up a three. It's hauled in by the Trailblazers. 22 is their biggest lead. Oklahoma City Thunder will be in town for the next one. And that'll be the middle game of their five in their longest homestand of the year. Paul against Zayton. Paul kicks to Wiggins. Just five to shoot. Steps back and fires. A shot that time, not on target. And it's Portland the other way. And a big lead for them on both. You know, for most players, being a starter has value. But Grant, some elite teams have been elevated by great players who have accepted a reserve role. And it's really special, B.A., when you have that. Players who are willing to sacrifice for the greater good of the team. Putting winning first at all costs. And you think about it, through the years, Manu Ginobili with the Spurs, Andre Guadala in Golden State, it really can galvanize a team and lead to winning championships. Now here's Aiden. Clean look from mid-range. The coach will probably want to run that play again. Jeremy Grant out there with Murray. Then it's DeAndre Ayton. Then there's Anthony Simons. And it's Brogdon in at the point guard. That's the group on the floor for Portland. Here's Wiggins. Pass to Brogdon. They've been playing with much greater physicality this half. Getting themselves to the free throw line is a bust. Second team foul. At the line for Portland, Malcolm Brogdon. At the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. And he makes both free throws productive trip to the line. He doesn't like to leave points on the table. Paul passes to Wiggins. His efficiency has been a big factor in helping them capture this lead. The Trailblazers have gotten half of their attempts to fall in the fourth. Two for four now. Back to Simons. Everything right except the finish. Have to keep focus all the way through the play. Inside. And Wiggins' game continues to evolve. You saw that right there. Good eye movement found the shooter. Brogdon finds Graham. Golden State has gone 2 of 4 from the perimeter here in the fourth quarter. Oh, what a nice defensive play to disrupt the lob. Aiden so big inside, he turns a miss into an opportunity. Pass to Wiggins. And here is Green. They double him with Aiden. And there's the foul. It's on DeAndre Aiden. That's his fourth foul of the contest. First team foul. Golden State ball starts the fourth and final quarter. Let's hear it. Over three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. Green up top. 
and he's easily led the way on the boards today. Well, he's been everywhere, and collecting those rebounds, that ends any kind of offensive possession and gets them started. Aiden passes to Murray. just swallowing up the defender there and then completes the play. Wiggins outside. Pass to Curry. Back to Paul. Wiggins outside. And another great assist. The offense is really clicking now. Here's Murray. Maybe there are ways to contribute that don't involve shooting the basketball. That's the best way that maybe he can help them out in trying to win this game. And he's doing things on the glass tonight that we don't often see. Well, this kind of effort will energize the team and get you going, just gobbling up every board. There's the alley! And the lob disrupted. Not to be. Green with the ball. Picked up by Grant. Well, Grant showing some toughness on that play. He welcomes the contact. He's so athletic. Goes right through it that time. Team foul. At the line for Portland. Jeremy Grant. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. We talked to most of the coaching staffs around the league. What is the first thing they think about with Jeremy Grant? And it's that athleticism that comes to mind. He's perfect from the line this time. That's a go-to shot for Stephen Curry, ready to shoot as soon as that ball touched his fingertips. that he has that many rebounds for a guy of his size and stature shows you he truly cares about grabbing possessions off the rim. And he was dominant in that last outing. And the same thing here tonight. He is in a terrific groove right now. Seems to be nobody standing in his way. No roadblocks for him to get to his spot, capitalize, and continue to be aggressive. Time called here. The Warriors decide to talk it over. And things are always changing throughout a game. Teams have to adjust on the fly. And timeouts are a wonderful opportunity to just settle in and recollect the thoughts of your entire team. Not just the guys playing, but the entire team. And the Warriors making a change here. Thompson's checked in. Let's hear it for your Blazer defense. This defense is getting spaced out. Three of the last five buckets have come from way beyond the arc.
And it was a great chance to finish on the break, and he flubs it. Completely lost focus. You can't get two steps ahead. I like that. I mean, some physical play inside. He's not about to give up any easy baskets. Fourth team foul. At the line for your Trailblazers, Murray taking two shots. Shooting two. The free throw drops from Murray. Murray drops them both. Even if you're not shooting it, you like to see the effort level. His tonight has been high. Tipped away. It's stolen by Green. Yes, it's good. And we're well aware of how dangerous Clay Thompson can be. You remember that 37 point outburst in one quarter. Throws it up high. Poke loose. And a bit of a battle for the ball. And the officials signal a jump ball here. Here are the Trailblazers now. Six to shoot. Here's Grant. No good from 18. This has not been a good quarter right here. Shot has been off the mark, and now it looks, Kevin, like he's pressing a bit. Thompson outside. Pass to Wiggins. Outside Paul. Shoots over Simons. And Paul gets it to go. And the Warriors lead by 17. He is a master craftsman when he gets inside and carves out space at the mid-range. CP3 with another deuce. Here's Aiton. Back to Murray. Pass to Henderson. From deep. Yes. And it's Murray picking up the assist. Murray's got three assists now in this one. Easy look when the defender isn't fighting over the screen. And the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. Now here's Wiggins. Green with the ball. He's covered by Aiton. To the middle. And Thompson gets it to go. Thompson's got 12 points in just the second half. And how about Clay just digging deep and pushing his way past the defense that time? get that one in here's Henderson he's guarded by Paul here's Simons that one doesn't drop green with the defensive effort Golden State has gone four of eight from three-point land during the fourth it looks like it'll be a big win for them here time to just cruise to the end of the game and chalk up the victory for the Warriors they paid the price for sloppy ball control before, but tonight they kept it locked up tight. Yeah, they did. And at the other end, they were very disruptive defensively. That'll do it for this one. They've earned their 27th victory of the year tonight.
And they've had their fingerprints all over this series, winning two straight and looking like they have this team's number. Man, you have to recognize what a night it was for Andrew Wiggins. Just really loved his activity level here tonight. Constantly mixed it up, and he threw himself into a lot of plays. So it's the Warriors now. After the basket by Portland. Paul passes to Thompson. Trains the triple. And the Warriors lead by 19. You got to give them respect. They're doing everything they can to close this out. You love that the guys are staying aggressive late in this ball game, just not wanting to let go of the rope. Now here's Murray. Steps back and shoots. And it's Simons missing. Boy, you love how guys are making plays for one another here. Yeah, just a balanced attack, a total team effort. Up top, Paul. And so Golden State takes this one, and by a big margin. Boy, this crowd has to be shocked by the way their team was dismantled. Now, shocked and surprised. It doesn't... Here's Sharp. Simons outside. Pass to Henderson. Fires for three. He can't get it to go, so Golden State will take it the other way. Jeremy Grant out there with DeAndre Ayton. Then there's Sharp. Then there's Anthony Simons. That's the group in the game for the Trailblazers. Showing more patience this half. His shot selection has improved, and his field goal percentage is rising. It's stolen. Ooh, he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. And let's take a moment here to get your take, guys, on the scoring so far for the Warriors. Number two. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. Also good, so he hits both free throws. And with their title last season, the Warriors now with seven in franchise history, no longer tied with the Bulls. They are alone and ranked third all time. Here's Henderson. Knocked loose, and that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Simons, and the Warriors making a change here. Wiggins is checked in. Golden State ball starts the fourth and final quarter. Let's hear it for you. Now here's Paul. Wiggins outside. And that one is hammered home. Yeah, offensively, Wiggins is putting together some great numbers. And so far, he's shown no intention of slowing down. Pass to Henderson. Here's Grant. Hayden with it. Clock at six. Over Green. Hayden, no good. And the Warriors still have a long way to go to surpass the Celtics and the Lakers for total championships. And then... So with Wiggins sitting on the bench, here's the group that Steve Kerr has on the floor. 
Sliding over to the wing spots, it's Curry and Thompson. Then there's Draymond Green. Then it's Chris Paul. Warriors leading by 11. Out left of the wing. And stolen by Murray. He's looking for Simons and finds him. He just makes it look so easy on offense. Like, who takes pleasure in torturing defenses? He does. From about 19 feet, Paul with the bucket. Paul's got the lead up to 11 now for the Warriors. Enjoy every moment you get to watch Chris Paul. We might never see a point guard like him again. Grant against Green. Six to shoot. Simons surveying the D. Another shot. Plays it up off the glass. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. And so it's Paul bringing it up for the Warriors. Back to Curry. Shoots from 12. Basket good. Curry's got 19 points. Making use of the in-between area. Curry's ability to break defenses down opens up these shots. Bounce pass, Simons. Good ball movement here by the Trailblazers. Thompson against Murray. Simons from outside. Good, and the assist goes to Murray. It's been like this all night for both teams. The offenses having their way. Yeah, but I think it's going to come down to who can get the stops down the stretch because that's who's going to come away with this win. Now here's Paul. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. That one on eight. And we talk about the playmaking ability of CP3. Third all-time in career assists. Second all-time in career assist percentage. And he looks far from done. That free throw, no good. And great, what separates Paul from the other two guys that have more career assists is that Paul also averaged 18 points a game. And he scores with efficiency. Really a one-of-a-kind talent. When he finally does decide to hang him up, I think he'd make a great head coach as well. And Portland making a change here. Henderson's checked in. Good on the second free throw. It's impressive what an enduring talent Chris Paul has been. A lot has changed around the league, but CP3 is still doing his thing and leading his guys to success. Back to Henderson. Puts it up from 15. Again, the Trailblazers good for two. Coming off a big game, his confidence couldn't be higher. And Coach knows it. When it ain't broke, leave it alone. Until someone stops him, just let him roll. Now here's Paul. Pass to Wiggins. From 13, the shot, no good. Now Portland takes it the other way. Ayton, the pass to Anderson from 11 feet away. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. I tell you what, the defense should send Christmas cards for that miss. Here's Green. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. I like when Green looks to score. He's good at putting defenses in a bind. And a moment now to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the Warriors. good on that one. What I appreciate most about Green is his leadership. Strong vocally on and off the floor.
and he sinks the second. Trailblazers trail by eight. Poke loose. Paul against Henderson. Fires from 14. Portland grabs the miss. And thus far, they've managed to overcome an off game from him offensively. Let's it go from 14. And it's Simons missing. Okay, let's just say it. This has been an ugly quarter for him. Not quite a break of mirror ugly, but it's getting there. Paul's shot is off. Well, he better buy his teammates dinner tonight because they've covered him for what has been a terrible, absolute terrible shooting display. Now, here's Grant. Out to the right wing. Wide open look here for Murray. Good, and Grant gets the assist. Grant's got three assists in the game. Timeout called the Warriors. And team strategies closely guarded. One aspect of the game the fans aren't always privy to. And we see it so often. One little tweak to the game plan and everything falls into place for a team. And now, let's take a look at the new balance player of the game, Clay Thompson. And his focus, guys, has been laser sharp. And his touch from the field, flawless. The, the teammates have worked hard to get him the ball in some good position. And boy, has he rewarded them with a spectacular shooting performance. Great call to keep running all those sets for him. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldrin. Thanks, Kevin. Well, Steve Kerr talked to his team during the break. His point to them was that they put themselves in a position to succeed and that this is their game to lose. So he needs to see full concentration out of every guy on the court to finish this one off. Kevin? Thank you, David. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. Trailblazers trail by six. And there's the... Oh, my! Nice finish. Oh, he got fancy with that one. Yeah, maybe trying to give them the momentum boost they need to break this game open. Pass to Thompson. Outside, green. Five on the clock. Here's Paul. The nine-footers on the mark. Paul's got five points now this quarter. Something seemed to click for him at halftime. He's looked a lot more focused, and the game is just easy for him now. The pass to Murray. Back to Simons. Fires for three. That shot, no good. And it's the Warriors taking it the other way. Henderson against Paul. Over Henderson. Paul's shot is off. Portland's gone two of five on three-point shots since the end of the third quarter. Here's Henderson. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Chris Paul picks up that one. Third team foul. At the line for Portland, Henderson. At the line for two. Shooting two. And the first one drops. Both free throws good from Henderson. And in a close game like this, they can really rely on him to take care of business. Timeout, timeout. Now a timeout called by Golden State. Golden State moving the ball around. Yeah. 
Just five to shoot. Two minutes. On loads. Two minutes. And again, it's the Warriors missing. Trailblazers trailed by four. Eight move picks to Anderson. It's rebounded by Golden State. Fantastic defense, giving full effort. A runner. And it is flushed down with a nice jam. And the second chance becomes a dunk. We could feel over here. GA such a good, aggressive play in the paint. Now here's Henderson. Shoots from the elbow. Draymond Green pulls it in. Whatever rhythm he had last quarter, it has left his body. He is having a hard time finding buckets. And that one is good. It looked like he was playing against his little brother out there, the way he just went right over him with his height. A floater. Draymond Green pulls it in. And, and he has definitely been struggling in this quarter. Yeah, he needs to mix things up on the offense. He simply just can't keep missing shots at this rate because he's destroying his teammates. Now here's Thompson. Shoots over Simon. Thompson misses. Defense kind of rolled the dice there, and I'm a little surprised it ended up going their way with the miss. Here's Grant. That one, no good. And it's the Warriors taking it the other way. Covered by Simon. Shoots a fader. The shot, no good. And here are the Trailblazers. Trailing here by eight. Misses the three. Henderson against Paul. So we see the Warriors get the win here. And in the win, a comfortable win in what was, I think, gee, a pretty hostile environment. It really was. You, you know, it's never going to be easy on the road, but they didn't have too many problems with that tonight. Thank you for joining us. And some surprise teams that started out hot have not cooled down. Their fans are wondering if this is the new normal. Well, B.A., it's easy for fans to jump to that conclusion. But look, the bottom line is you can't look too far ahead. You've got to stay in the moment and enjoy the ride. I wish I had done more of that when I was playing. Let's take a look at our starters for the Golden State Warriors. Thompson the two with Wiggins at the three. Then there's Stephen Curry. Then it's Green. Wiggins outside. Outside Curry. Ooh, anticipated the pass. It's a turnover. Oh, Whoa, my whoa. goodness. That's out. The reverse jam. Unbelievable. Ooh, putting on a show for the fans. Going up with a graceful reverse. Oh, that had a little extra sauce on it, Grant. Pass to Green. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It's going to be on DeAndre Ayton. And really, credit Green for getting the favorable position down inside, forcing the D's hand there. Taking two shots. good on the free throw and watching Draymond Green play Grant he's the quarterback on both ends I love that B.A. defensively constantly calling out instructions on how to switch keeping everyone organized and offensively Green is an incredible passer sees guys get open before they do good on the second one after nine seasons together in Portland, the backcourt duo of Damian Lillard and C.J. McCollum are no longer teammates. C.J. sent to New Orleans. Now here's Simons. Here's Aiden. Rebounded by Green. Mm, I'm not sure what happened on that play. May have relaxed a little bit once he got to the rim. Pass to Wiggins. 
Who poked away? Here's Thompson. Second chance effort. And the layup is Clay. up and in. The long arms of Clay. Good at understanding when he should attack the offensive glass. Simons outside. Now here's Murray. Simons against Thompson. Just five on the clock. Simons passes to Aiden. Over Green. It's stolen by Green. Here's Thompson. With a second effort. And he lays it up and in. It gives your offense yet another option when your two-guard, Clay Thompson, can play inside and be physical. Here's Henderson. A great score, averaging almost 26 a game. And that's a foul called on Stephen Curry. That's his first foul of the game. Pass to Graham. From outside the arc. Yes, and it's Murray picking up the assist. I like how Grant can play up-tempo, reacting fast to capitalize off a hot pass. Tipped away. Stolen by Aiton. Here's Henderson. On the wing, Simons. Green covering. Simons passes to Aiton. And the layup is good. Aiden's got his second bucket of the night. Yeah, this is where Aiden's comfortable operating, using his height and array of inside moves to his advantage. Thompson outside. Curry finds some space. Nice jump shot from the top of the key. Rock solid screen right there. The defender got completely lost. Hey, if you're not going to fight over, you're essentially giving the shooter the look he wants. Now here's Grant. He's been a big scorer for this offense, averaging around 20 points a game. Henderson misses. The Warriors have gone three of five here in the opening quarter. Driving in. And it's Portland with a rebound. Victory eluded them last time in San Francisco when they faced the Warriors. Turnovers were the story of that game. It wasn't what I would call a disciplined performance. The shot's good. The Warriors trailing. Thompson outside. Beyond the arc. And Aiden pulls it down. That's a look he couldn't pass up. He just couldn't get it to go. To the paint. Pass to Henderson. Now Aiden. Six on the shot clock. Uses the glass on the layup. Aiden's got eight. <laughs> Their offense looking like a well-oiled machine. Time out, time out. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. Time called here. The Warriors decide to talk it over. Last game matched up with the Thunder. Tough loss there. And the win was there for them, but they just let it get away. Just couldn't make enough plays late. Hard to keep the consistency going, which I guess is the very definition of consistency. Keep it going. He's covered by Grant. It's rebounded by Grant. Portland has gone one for three from beyond the arc. And he lobs it up to the rim. Oh, nice finish from the low block. That one's good. They're really settling into a nice rhythm now, starting to gain the upper hand. They're playing well. They're building momentum. This is how they can turn a small lead into a big one. Now here's Curry. A top-tier score, averaging a little under 25 points a contest. And that's a foul called on Stephen Curry. That's foul number two for him. The question is, do you leave him in? Obviously, you don't want him to pick up a third foul this early. Paul, he's checked in for Curry. Pass to Henderson from the arc. Offensive rebound. Aiden. And Aiden with the stuff. The offensive game plan is clear. Get it inside and go to work. This is my type of approach. Get some high percentage looks. 
Then later, you can play inside out. Back to Paul. Four on the clock. They need this. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. The trickery of Paul, he's unpredictable. It is what gets defenders to be overly aggressive. And taking a quick look here at the hustle stats for the Trailblazers. It's all about the fire they're playing with early on. Crashing the boards and the result, second chance points. And also their pressure defense is paying dividends tonight. Turning them over and getting out in the open floor and running. And we've heard the cautionary tales in the past. Does it seem like players today are getting better financial advice, in your opinion, Grant, to make their money last? Yeah, B.A., I think they're getting better financial advice, but I also think that the times that we're in, I think there's more awareness. Players understand the pitfalls or potential setbacks, uh, the social media, digital age, all the information's there. So players today, yes, they're making more money, and I actually think they're doing a better job of protecting and saving their money, too. Here's Henderson. 35 points for him last game against Milwaukee. And had a high number of steals. Just a ball hawk, striking fear into the opponent. Now here's Wiggins. Off with the layup. Grant finds Murray. Now here's Aiden. Coming off a 28-point game against Milwaukee. No good that time. Green with the defensive effort. The Warriors have gone only three for nine from the floor. And Thompson gets it to go. Thompson's got six. He's hot this quarter, getting the shots he wants, and he's delivering. Pass to Aiden. Murray from outside. Knocks it down from distance. And we know it's still early, but they're getting destroyed on the boards. The Warriors have gone 4 of 10 shooting the rock in this first quarter. Time out, time and the Warriors out. call time here. Nice game. Great performance by DeAndre Ayton. You know, he's been a one-man wrecking crew down low. His consistent scoring has dictated the pace of this game. We'll see if they decide to front him, bring a quick double, or maybe even both to try to slow him down. Here we have the teams that really hustled for those second chance looks the last 10 games. The Trailblazers in fifth. Well, you love the attack mindset on the glass. They've imposed their will physically. Knocked away. Left side pull. Knocks down the step back, Jay. One off and CP3 has the green light from anywhere. Even the mid-range is in his comfort zone. Back to Simons. Shoots. Can't hit that one. The Warriors go the other way with it. Wiggins finds Paul. Back to Wiggins. Clock at six. It's good. The assist that time from Paul. As a distributor, Paul is just a machine. He's constantly creating for his guys. Pass to Murray. Now Aiden. Here's Henderson. There's the triple. And again, it's the Trailblazers from the... Defensively, you have to stay connected to him on the perimeter. Paul passes to Thompson. Wiggins with it. Back to Thompson. Wiggins outside. He's covered by Grant. And Aiden pulls it down. Aiden's got five rebounds tonight. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Gotta be careful how you guard Aiden. He's so creative at finding ways to draw fouls. At the line for Portland, DeAndre Ayton. Two shots. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And that one misses.
and he's good on the second. Yeah, what I appreciate about Aiden is that he wants to keep getting better. You have to be excited about his future. Thompson outside. Defended by Murray. Stepped back and fires. The rebound by Murray. Portland has gone three of seven from beyond the arc in the first. Simons with it. Green picks him up. Kept alive. Grant. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. First personal. He came into this league as a defensive specialist. Now Jeremy Grant is becoming an offensive powerhouse. Taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. No good on that one. And the second free throw is good. The Warriors have got 6 of 14 in so far. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. It's rebounded by Grant. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. And here's Simons outside. Hits it. Now 2 of 6 from the field. And this defense needs to turn the screws and ramp up the intensity. They're looking a little loose out there right now. Back to Paul. Shot to stop the run. Good on the jump Chris shot. Paul. Paul's got five points. He's one of the best in the business, Chris Paul. A phenomenal ball handler. Simons outside. Pass to Henderson. Grant outside. Takes the three. Drains the triple. He's got seven. They've been very effective so far. A balanced attack at its best. And it's helped them build an early lead. They just need to stay aggressive. Now here's Paul. He's got five. Green, the pass to Thompson. Golden State needs to get off a shot. He got a piece of it. So far, rebounding has been a focal point for them. They swipe it. Down low. Here's Paul. And that makes him three for four. He's looking good. So crafty down low. Chris has every shot in the book. Pass to Simons. Here's Henderson. Five points in the game. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. One of the trickier plays to judge. But it would be hard to argue against the call. It's often a tough call that can go either way. But I agree with you on that one. Robert Williams checked in for Portland. A minute six left in the first quarter here. Thompson outside. And a miss there on the triple. Now Portland with it. It's a 13-point game. Here's Henderson. And that one goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts the free throw. First personal foul. Fourth team foul. At the line for your trailblazers, Henderson. One Shooting shot. one.
Golden State has gone 0 for 3 from downtown. And again, no good by Golden State. No question who's in control of the board so far. And it's Simons missing. Just hasn't found much consistency from the floor, but his teammates have picked up the slack. Two seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. Green against Simons. Green, the pass to Paul. Just five to shoot. Back to Green. Hits it just before the shot clock expires. The beauty of Draymond as a facilitator really sees the entire floor. The first quarter concludes and a double-digit lead on the scoreboard. Trailblazers out in front, leading by 14. And we'll bring you the start of quarter number two when we return. And if you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but plenty of time left for a comeback. And guys, the Trailblazers pretty much in control here. Well, it seems like they went in looking to do damage from long range, and they face little resistance. Reason why excellent spacing. They may not stay this hot all game, but hard to bet against them. So it's the Warriors now. They trail by 14. So on the floor for Golden State to kick off the second quarter. Kaminga is out there with Draymond Green. Then there's Stephen Curry. Then it's Andrew Wiggins, and it's Paul in at the one spot. With a bit of an old-school feel to his game, Wiggins refuses to shy away from the mid-range. Murray finds Simons. It's good, and the assist goes to Murray. Simons got eight. Rock-solid screen right there. The defender got completely lost. Hey, if you're not going to fight over, you're essentially giving the shooter the look he wants. And the basket by Curry. The soft touch from their mid-range. Curry shot looking so stepperless. <laughs> now here's Murray. We saw him with 11 points in his last game. Outside Paul. Oh, got a piece of it. The kick out to Wiggins. Outside Curry. Shot clock at five. Over Williams. Again, Golden State. And their offense seems to be coming around. Now they're shooting upwards of 50% from the field. Simons outside. Wiggins against Murray. On the take. Soft touch off the glass. Murray's got his second basket of the night. And this is what you want to do when you've got a big lead. You must stay aggressive. I'm impressed with their intensity tonight. They've came in focused, and they've executed. Now here's Curry. He has six. Can't hit it from 12 feet. He expects to make every one of those, and we expect him to make them too. Here's Simons. Makes good on the step back jumper. Simon's got five points now in the quarter. Terrific play. This is why you run your offense through him and live with the results. Simon's against Curry. A clear look for Green. Rebound by the Trailblazers. Defeated by Milwaukee in their last game. They'll try to put that one behind them. Oh, my. It was a great game. It went down to the wire. Both teams gave all they had, but only one could come away satisfied. This is what we love about the NBA. Epic matchups almost every night. What other sport has that? Pass to Murray. And he's going for the lob! In transition, here come the Warriors. And he got the whistle on the way up, so he'll be headed to the line for a pair. That's on Anthony Simons. Wiggins has always had a knack for that. Get inside, force the D to commit, and draw the foul. Taking two shots. That free throw, no good. You know, with all the dunkers out there, some players make sure they don't end up on too many posters. Grant, you ever uh, make a business decision? Yeah, 
Yeah, B.A., you know, I made a few business decisions through my career. Look, as a competitor, you want to make sure that you can play defense, give it your all, contest at the rim when you feel that you can. But when someone like a Vince Carter in the midst of insanity, that's when you make a business decision. And that's a smart decision. The Warriors have gone four for seven in the second quarter. Kaminga down low. He's covered by Grant. The fadeaway. And again, it's the Warriors missing. Portland has gone 6 of 14 from the perimeter tonight. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Here's Henderson. He's guarded by Paul. The jump hook. Shots good by Henderson. Ten points for him. And attacking a somewhat helpless defense right now. Just a relentless effort. He's trying to help his team shut the door. They don't want to allow any comebacks. Now here's Curry. Six points for him. Outside Kaminga. Shot clock at six. Off target from outside. Portland has gone one of four from three-point land here in the second. Pass to Murray. Here he goes. Back to Simons. Knocks it loose. Paul with a steal. Oh, and a fast break for the Warriors. Yeah, and Wiggins' teammates Good trust Wiggins. him to finish off alley oops. His timing on these is just very impressive. Well, Portland's shooting around 53%, a nice number. Here's Henderson. He's guarded by Paul. Murray passes to Simons. The Trailblazers rebound. And Aiden gets it to go. I mean, come on. A seven-footer with a 7-5 wingspan. Aiden beats everyone to the ball and converts easily. Now here's Wiggins. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Oklahoma City. Ball passes to Kaminga. Grant with a steal. Pass to Henderson. Simons outside. Now Murray. Grant left side. Shoots over Kaminga. Grant's shot is off. Golden State has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. And there's Curry on the assist by Kuminga. Curry's got eight. It's a treat to watch his ball handling. He has the basketball on a string. Simons outside. Pass to Graham. The Warriors pull it in. Kaminga's got his fourth rebound in this one. Right side green. Outside Paul. Wiggins outside. Back to Paul. Six to shoot. Pulls it from the top of the key. He hits the back iron and sinks it. He's got nine. The Trailblazers have gone just five of 12 here in the second quarter. Pass to Simons. Here's Henderson. Outside Murray. Grant outside on the wing, Simons. Five on the clock. Shoots over Curry. Portland, no good that time either. The Warriors have gotten seven of 13 attempts to go here in the second. Right side, Kaminga. Outside, Green. Pass to Wiggins. The kick out to Paul. Got a hand on it. You see how quickly Grant gets off the floor, sending that one back. Airmail. And the Blazers making a change here. Brogdon's checked in. Here's Curry. Good on the shot, and that shaves the lead to single digits. Curry's got eight here in this quarter. As soon as Curry catches it, it's out of his hands. Not much you can do to defend that. Timeout called, Portland. There's no way coach likes this effort level. They need to refocus. It's so easy to get run over when you lose even a little edge. Look for them to come out 
much more aggressive. Brogdon, the pass to Aiden. Murray with it. The three is up. It's rebounded by Golden State. Green's got four rebounds now. Curry passes to Wiggins. And here's Paul, guarded by Brogdon. Paul against Brogdon. Six on the shot clock. From outside, off the mark. They have a decent advantage in regards to rebounding. All right, let's check in with Allie LaForce. Well, guys, with the yearly roster moves, it might be hard for the casual fan to keep track. But Commissioner Silver said it's a necessary side effect. He said, quote, we tried to tie performance to pay in a closer way, and I think that's what you see with shorter contracts. Brian, more player movement has been the result. Yeah, good point, Allie. Thanks. And, and making the extra pass. Wiggins' teammates appreciate his willingness to get it to them when they're uncovered. To the wing, right side. Grant, the pass to Brogdon. Over Paul. They get it back. That one goes in. Hayden's got 15. Very consistent tonight at the offensive end. Right there, he helps fuel the fire. He's covered by Grant. Back to Paul. Pass to Curry for three. It doesn't go for him. And it's Portland the other way. And at home for the next one, it'll be Oklahoma City pulling in. And they'll be right in the middle of a five-game homestand. There is Simons drawing the eyes of defenders, creating for his teammates. Now here's Curry. Ten points for him. He's covered by Grant. Outside Paul. The three. Nails it. He's now six for eight from the floor. And this team's struggles are not his fault. He's putting in work at the offensive end. Outside Murray. Here's Simons. It's good. And the assist goes to Murray. Murray's got three assists tonight. A lost art in this game. Terrific bounce pass. Now here's Curry. Last game out, he had 44. To the inside. It's stolen by Brogdon. Grant, right side. And the bucket counts. And he is on his way to the line. He'll try to make it a three-point play. Defensive foul. Grace Jackson Davis. Second person. And the Warriors making a change here. Team foul. At the line for Portland. Jeremy Grant. One shot. That one falls for Grant. Golden State has gone just one of six from the perimeter here in the second. Brockton against Curry. The three from Thompson. Goes back up, and it goes. As the official calls the foul, count it, and he'll shoot one more at the line. At the line for the Warriors, number two, one shot. And for the Trailblazers, they're shooting a solid 50% throughout the second. Simons outside. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. I think Simons wanted the whistle. He goes inside and makes havoc. At the line for your Trailblazers. And two shots. Take 
And that one falls for Simons. Anthony Simons has proven himself as an effective and efficient scorer. Someone this team leans on to fill it up. And the Warriors making a switch here. Looney's checked in. And so Simons nails both of them. Zero wasted trips. They're doing their job at the line. Curry against Tatum. Looney, high post. Out to Thompson. Fires the three. Count it. He's four for eight now. Clay trusting his mechanics. He knows he has this shot down pat. Simons outside. Pass to Graham. Outside Murray. And play stops. A whistle there on what looks like an illegal screen. His second foul in as many quarters. We'll see if he backs off or stays aggressive. This is why you want ball movement and player movement. And that's made it hard for the defense to key in on any one individual. And here is Thompson. There's the three. Rebounded by Brogdon. And you have to think that they're leading this game because of how they've controlled the boards tonight. The drive by Simons. Basket counts. Simons got 16 points now. This has been a tremendous quarter for him. Everything he puts up now looks like it's going in. Curry passes to Thompson. 35 seconds left to play in the half. Clock at six. The three from Curry. Count that one. He's scoring at a nice clip. He's six of nine tonight. And the defense is really allowing them too much room on the perimeter. Brogdon, the pass to Simons. And here's Ayton. He's defended by Looney. They get it again. And the Warriors shooting really well here in the second quarter. 54%. Pass to Curry. To the right side. He shoots it. And the Warriors tack on two more. Keeping his head up at all times. Curry sees his teammate break free. Anthony Simons has been leading the charge for the Trailblazers. 11 points in the quarter. He's on fire. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. 52. Allie, as always, thank you. We'll be right back to begin the third quarter right after this. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and the Jet, Kenny Smith. Let's get to it. Portland was looking great right away. They blasted through the opening period like a tornado, at one point leading by 16. They could do nothing wrong in the first quarter, ending with a 14-point lead. Momentum shifted slightly in the second quarter, causing them to lose some traction, but they still ended the half up by eight. Shaq, how do you think the Trailblazers were playing? They've come out determined to push the pace. Up tempo offense, getting the ball up court as quickly as possible. Advantage and transition points has been the major difference in this game. And over to Kenny, what did you think about Golden State? They couldn't get anything from beyond him. Obviously, plenty of bad shots, but they couldn't even hit wide open ones. They need to regroup, I'm telling you, regroup with some kind of rhythm and get on pace. That's all for now. Say goodbye to the folks. Thanks goodbye, for folks. joining us. Third quarter, just about ready to begin. And happy you could join us. We've got two quarters left to go in regulation. You look at Anthony Simons. He's been playing really well. Can they come up with an answer for him coming out of the half? They have to change something defensively. I think both sides probably adjusted a few things. The key for him is to bring the same level of energy over these last two quarters. And we hope you've enjoyed the broadcast thus far. We're halfway through the game. We've got Murray. DeAndre Ayton is out there with Jeremy Grant. Then there's Anthony Simons. That's the group in the game for the Trailblazers. Wiggins outside. Green finds Wiggins. 
Second shot opportunity. Over Murray. And that one hits the back iron. Ooh, they've come out ice cold to start this half. Three misses and as many attempts. Pass to Henderson. Curry with a steal. And they're pushing it up. And he lays it in on the break. Curry's got 15 points. Finally getting one to fall. They were 0 for 3 to start this half. Here's Henderson. Shot clock at six. Here's Simons. The rebound by Wiggins. Wiggins has got five rebounds in the game. Outside Curry. And there's the foul. It's on DeAndre Ayton. That'll get him his fourth foul of the game. This could be a problem. That's his fourth foul with plenty of basketball left to play. And how about that replay? Man, you got to appreciate the hustle on defense. Yeah, good offense comes from great defense. This lead is only getting stronger with plays like that. Here's Curry. He's got 15. And looks like an illegal pick was set. That gets the ref's attention. Well, the league has put an emphasis to crack down on illegal screens. Yes, the last few years, the rules changes have tended to benefit the offenses. This evens things out a bit. Hayden finds Simons. Here's Henderson. Three-pointer. Sinks that one. Now shooting five of ten and looking sharp. Rock-solid screen right there. The defender got completely lost. Hey, if you're not going to fight over, you're essentially giving the shooter the look he wants. Wiggins outside. Over Murray. And they recover it. Tries again. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. The defense there doing whatever they can to protect the rim. Shooting to Golden State. Jackson Davis at the line for two. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls. So he gets them both. Into the third. Two minutes in now. Simons outside. Pass to Murray. Back to Simons. Down to five on the shot clock. Baseline jumper right on the money. Simons has got 18 points in the game. And once Simons gets cooking, watch out because he's capable of dominating games all by himself. Back to Wiggins. And there's a three-second violation. The Trailblazers have got two of three from the floor in this third quarter. Pass to Henderson. Now Wiggins. Back to Green. Puts it up from 17. And yep, it's good. Well, this is where Draymond's developed as a score. No longer just about threes and layups. Pass to Simons. Into the lane. The Warriors pull it in. He's covered by Grant. Outside Curry. Shot is up. And Wiggins gets it to go. The assist from Curry. 
And it's now only a five point Portland lead. Portland has gone seven for 17 from three point range so far in this matchup. Pass to Simons. Let's go with a three. Sends it home from three point land. Simons got five points now in the quarter. Showing the quickness. Nice catch and shoot by Anthony. Grant against Thompson. Curry from deep three-point land. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Portland has gone two for two from deep here in the third. Portland foul. First personal foul. Second team foul. Here's Curry. He's got 15. Wiggins passes to Curry. Thompson against Simons. Clock at six. Back to Curry from deep three-point range. It's rebounded by Grant. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. He just missed it. Pass to Simons. Aiden with it. And count the basket. He was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. All right, guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the Trailblazers? They are making it rain from the three-point land right now, and the coaching staff continues to encourage them to let it fly. And following that, the number of second-chance buckets they've tallied has been superb, showing no mercy in hitting the offensive glass. Golden State has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. Wiggins outside. Pass to Thompson. Outside Curry. Back to Thompson. Jacks up a three. And it's good. Assisting on the play was Curry. Curry's got three assists in the game. And Thompson's coaching staff encourages him to take quick shots. They know how deadly he is. Wiggins from long range. He can't get that one to fall. And the Trailblazers going the other way now. At one point, they led by 16. Simons passes to Williams. Warriors foul. Jackson Davis. Third personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for your Trailblazers, Robert Williams. At the line for two. He's off on the first. And no good on the second free throw. So 0 for 2 there. Golden State has gone 1 of 4 here in the third from range. And Thompson gets it to go. Inside, Thompson agility gives him the edge. He navigates around the D into his shot. Simons outside. Pass to Williams. The ball's knocked loose. Warriors with the rebound. Wiggins finds Curry. Back to Wiggins. Now Thompson, 4-3. Ooh, he's now 7 for 12. And what's working here? Each guy is willing to make the next pass. Now a timeout called by Portland. There's no way Coach likes this effort level. They need to refocus. It's so easy to get run over when you lose even a little edge. Look for them to come out much more aggressive. Portland leading. Pass to Sharp. Simons with it. Oh, 
Out to the wing. Here's Henderson. Offensive rebound. And Aiton with the stuff. And this is how dynamic Aiton can be on the offensive end. Keep getting him the ball, please. They've been aggressive during this run, but they've also played under control. And it has them in a great spot to take the lead. They love to get a few stops now at the other end. Fades away. Williams misses. Here's Golden State. They've gone on a 10-2 run, not allowing much. Curry, no good. I mean, he's staying aggressive, trying to regain his touch. But right now, he's hurting the team. They get it back. And Aiden with the stuff. <laughs> yeah, looking at Aiden using all of his height and reach, slamming it down on a helpless defense. And here's Thompson for three. And it's good. Assisting on the play was Curry. Curry's got five assists tonight. To the middle. Here's Simons. Second chance shot. Can't cash it in from close range. Golden State has gotten three of six threes to fall in the third quarter. Here's Thompson. Oh, it's no good. That would have tied it. Here's Sharp. Another shot. Oh, it's blocked by Green. He's a tremendous defender. Draymond Green all over that shot. Wiggins right side. And it's all tied up. He has six. Assist goes to Portland has gotten two of four threes to fall here in this third quarter. Simons outside. Pass to Henderson. Outside, Williams. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Third personal foul. Third team foul. At the line for your Trailblazers, Robert Williams. Taking two shots. Two. Two. The free throw drops for Williams. Brogdon's checked in for Simons. And the Warriors making a change here. And Williams drops them both. Here's Golden State. They're on a 15-6 run. Thompson outside. Outside Paul. Back to Thompson. For the lead. Rebound by the Trailblazers. At one point, they led by 16. Here's Henderson. He's guarded by Paul. And stolen by Paul. 11 feet out. And so ball out of bounds. Thompson touched it last. Blazers ball. We've got a close game here in Portland. Timeout, timeout called. Timeout. The Blazers. With the timeout. Henderson. He's got 13. Five on the clock. Eight inside. Looney's there. Oh, he muscles it in through the contact. They call the foul, and he's on his way to the line. Yes, yeah, so strong. Eight and one. Ugh. And the Warriors making a switch here. Kuminga's checked in. Fourth team foul. At the line for Portland, DeAndre Ayton. One shot.
And it's the Warriors with the ball. It's a five-point game. Guarded by Brogdon. You wonder what the score would be if they weren't controlling the glass. Pass to Henderson. Here's Aiden. He's defended by Looney. Down low. Here's Brogdon. Well timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Brogdon's got his first points of the night. Two minutes remaining. Outside call. Two minutes. One fifty-one left to play in the third quarter. Can they get it? No good. Now the Trailblazers will take it the other way. Brogdon with the ball. And Looney picks him up defensively. Here's Henderson. And that one's long. The Warriors trailing. Guarded by Brogdon. Pass to Thompson. And Clay Thompson picks up the foul. That's his fourth foul of the contest. This is, and I think his coach would agree, unacceptable. One turnover in the first half, now multiple turnovers since the break. Too much. Now here's Aiden. Now Brogdon. Good on the 13-footer. Brogdon's got his second basket of the game. More points coming from inside. In that respect, they've been the more aggressive team. Back to Paul. There's 53 seconds left in the third quarter. Pass to Looney from 12 feet. And Aiden pulls it down. Aiden's got his 16th rebound on the night. And here's Brogdon. Here's Henderson. He's guarded by Paul. Outside Brogdon. Here's Williams. From deep. And they'll get another chance. That's been the difference tonight. They've been insanely disruptive on the glass. And Aiton with the stuff. Excellent timing by Aiton on the alley-oop pass. He's perfectly positioned to throw it down. Got a piece of it. Here's Paul on the money from 12 feet away. Paul's got 16 points now. Working in that mid-range area, the analytics may not love it, but that's a good look for him. And so it's DeAndre Ayton making highlights for the Trailblazers. Dominating on the glass. What a quarter. We'll be right back with you shortly. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. <laughs> yeah, just shredding the defense with that feed. Zero chance to stop that. Creating plays for others. It's an art form, but it's also a discipline. Fantastic job. The fourth quarter has arrived. So good to have you with us. Portland leading. On the court for Golden State to start the fourth. Thompson and Wiggins play at the three and the four. Then it's Green. Then there's Stephen Curry. Here's Brogdon. It's tipped. Pass to Curry. To the paint. And that comes off the assist by Green. What we do know about Steph Curry, he can score from all three levels and do it with efficiency. Brogdon with the ball. Here's Henderson. Pulls it. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. It's going to go on Draymond Green. Man, good whistle there. At the line for your Trailblazers, Henderson. Two shots. And he drops the first. And the Warriors making a switch here. Right, 
He's off on the second. And for the Warriors, they're shooting at 49% so far in the game. Pass to Curry. From deep three-point range. And they recover it. Green, the pass to Curry. Just five to shoot. Launches a three. And the foul called on Draymond Green. That's his third foul of the game. He's been of no help stretching the floor tonight. Just one three in the first half. Nothing in the second. Simons has checked in for Portland. Here's Henderson. Pass to Aiden. Goes back up. And he lays it in. Aiden's got 29. And their physical dominance has been on display. A 10 rebound advantage is a good indicator of how this game has gone. Thompson against Simons. Here's Wiggins. And it's Portland with a rebound. Ayton's got his 18th rebound here tonight. All over the place. And here's Simons outside. Gets the three ball to go. He's got 24. Hey, continue to stack it up from three. He's got two in each half so far. Wiggins outside. Curry passes to Green. Now Wiggins. Here's the three. Here's Curry. Out of bounds. It'll be Portland's ball. Blazers ball. The Trailblazers have gotten half of their attempts to fall in the fourth. Two for four now. And he's going for the oop here. And it's out of bounds. The Trailblazers able to retain possession here. He was all over that pass. That's a cautionary tale. A little bit late there, but you try to get into your opponent's head. Force them to go somewhere else with the ball, and he did that. Grant, right side. The Warriors pull it in. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. Hard to convert against that kind of defensive pressure. The rim protection at its finest. The result is the same whether you block the shot or simply change it. And he was dominant in their last outing. And the same thing here tonight. He is in a terrific groove right now. Here's the thing. He's a guy who will go on hot streaks for you over a number of games. They've shown the power inside. Their rebounding effort has been sensational. Pass to Henderson. Simons outside. Fires the three. And again, it's the Trailblazers from deep. Having a monster night from beyond the arc. He had two bombs in the time first out, half. Now out. three more since. Time called here. The Warriors decide to talk it over. Protecting the rim has to be their top objective right now. And it boils down to the question. Toughness. One team showing it, the other allowing itself to be bullied. And that's two points on the layup. Simple. The closer you are to the hoop, the better your chance to score. Pass to Henderson. Takes a 13-footer. Another one falls for Portland. Golden State has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Back to Curry. Portland foul. Anderson. Second personal foul. First team foul. Thompson outside. 
from about 19. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Curry. Thompson's got 13 points here in the second half alone. Now Portland with it. They're on a 13-4 run. Wiggins against Murray. Deflected! Wiggins outside. Looking to end this cold spell. Hey, great D that time from Grant. And the truth is, I've been there. He's trying to find the rhythm on his shot. He feels like he's close, and that's why he keeps shooting. You really have to question the defensive effort on that possession. They are getting bare tonight with plays like that one, allowing too much space for a good shooter. The kick out, Curry. From deep. And Aiden pulls it down. We all know he's a good shooter. But from that distance, uh, I don't think so. You know, we're seeing players move further and further back to create space. But that does make it a tougher shot. And for the Warriors, they're shooting around 30% since the fourth quarter got underway. And it's Portland with a rebound. Grant's got a rebound number 12 here already in the game. No good on the shot. Green with the defensive effort. And the Warriors shooting at 45% of the game so far. Pass to Curry. Wiggins outside. Back to Curry. Let's it go from deep. Cut X from downtown. Curry's got 20. He's taking what he can get here. Has a three in each half. Outside Murray. Now here's Aiden. There's Simons with a three. Hits the trifecta. Simons got nine points in the quarter. He hit a couple from range in the first half. But now his confidence is through the roof. And it's the Trailblazers on the break. And here's Grant from the arc. The shot no good. So Golden State will take it the other way. He started off solid. Had two threes at halftime, but blank from deep sense. Talk about making halftime adjustments. You love what they're doing with him now offensively. Wiggins with a steal. Outside Curry. Pass to Wiggins. Picked it out of midair. And it's the Trailblazers on the break. Here's Henderson. Can't hit from the elbow. It's a shot you would think he would make, but he just doesn't make it all the time. Green. Again, the Warriors Green. score. And whenever Green gets contact, he is so crafty at finding ways to get the bucket. Simons passes to Murray. Here's Henderson. The three. That one is off. Just not feeling it from beyond the arc. Sometimes that happens. He's trying to shoot his way out of it. Wiggins outside. For three. That shot off. Now the Trailblazers will take it the other way. Inside. Here's Aiton. And he gets it to go. Aiton's got 31. These are big buckets. He's been instrumental in helping them try to close out this game. Wiggins finds Green. Played it in with a nice Draymond touch off Green. the window. What I know about Draymond, he's not going to beat you with a ton of post moves. He's a guy who wins with effort. Pass to Aiden. Here's Henderson. Fires the three. That shot missing. He continues to let it fly, but the makes have been few and far between. Wiggins with it. Launches it. And Aiden pulls it down. Aiden's his struggles this quarter are self-evident, and the team just continues to suffer for it. Gets the three to fall. Coming down the stretch, they've leaned on the perimeter game. You know, when you're raining threes, you can stack up points in a hurry. But it can go the other way as well. Here's Wiggins. And no good. Aiton with the defensive effort. Portland has gotten four of seven three-pointers to fall in the fourth. 
Outside Murray. Pass to Henderson. Fires from deep. Yes, and it's Murray picking up the assist. Murray's got five assists in the game. The defense was just nowhere to be found, and because of that, he adds to their lead. You can't afford to give him space. Those kinds of mistakes have been the story of this game. When a team is underperforming, coaches are often the first people called into question. Is that fair, Smitty? Uh, in some cases, it is fair, but I'll break it down like this, B.A. It always starts at the top. From coaching to your best players, they're always going to get the blame. Simons outside. Here's Henderson. He's covered by Curry. Pass to Simons. Another one falls for Portland. Really feels like they're in control. They've got a big lead with time dwindling. Reason why they've tightened up the vice grip a little more each time up the floor. Out, we'll see out. if they can close this one out. And this team wants Wiggins to be assertive on offense. And it's so good to see him looking to score. Timeout called. The Blazers. They're leading by 18. A minute 35 left to play in the fourth quarter. All right, we present our New Balance Player of the Game, DeAndre Ayton. He has truly put on a show out there tonight, tearing it up on both ends of the floor. So impressive. And the other squad has looked helpless to stop him. Oh, man, what an effort tonight. To put together this type of game against the defending champs, that is impressive. This is why so many people hold him in such high regard. Pass to Benton. Back to Simons. Six on the shot clock. Chalk up two there. Simons got 37. And what a complete performance we saw from them. A dominant win in every way for the Trailblazers. And it was a big-time performance across the board. They looked like they were having fun out there, Grant. <laughs> yeah, B.A., it was almost like watching a cat play with a mouse. I mean, they did pretty much anything they wanted to do out there today. And you look at their record after tonight, 30 wins on the year. And this is an even matchup. One-to-one -one on the season series with two left to play. And it was a reliably solid performance from one of their key guys. A tremendous game for DeAndre Ayton. He played with a lot of fire, a lot of heart, especially on the glass. He's one of those guys who acts like every rebound is his, and many of them were tonight. Looney passes to Kaminga. Now here's Sharich. There's the three. And it's Portland with a rebound. Here's Sharp. Simons outside. So it's the Trailblazers winning this one easily. We saw two different teams tonight. One played with confidence, operating flawlessly. The other just looked lost. And the energy in this building was awesome. The crowd was involved from the jump. And once they started to really pour it on, Around three minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. Pass to Aiton. Murray against Wiggins. Unloads from nine. That one's in there. The Warrior lead is cut down now to just 11 on the basket from Brogdon. 
So with Thompson sitting on the bench, here's the group that Steve Kerr has on the floor. He's covered by Aiton. Here's Green. And it's Aiton with the rebound. Aiton's got rebound number 12 now. Tenacity on the glass. It's Brogdon on the wing. And it's out of bounds to Portland. I'll retain possession. Great energy on the deflection and a good job disrupting their offense. Yeah, I appreciate the work right now on the defensive end. Chris Paul, he's checked in for the Warriors. Fourth quarter of play and over three and a half minutes have gone by. Back to Aiton. Pocket six over Green. And a miss there with a chance to cut the lead to single digits. Henderson against Paul. From downtown, the offensive rebound. Curry, good. And Curry sneaking in there, finding a way to get to the ball, and then he capitalizes. Henderson passes to Brogdon. Back to Henderson. This one for three. And good. Coming on the assist by Brogdon. Brogdon's got 10 assists here tonight. So active. Higgins outside. Paul passes to Curry. Back to Paul. Golden State moving the ball around. Green against Zayton. Paul kicks to Wiggins. And they come right back with their own three-pointer. Three points. Wiggins has got six points in the quarter. Murray outside. Brogdon inside the line with nobody on him. He buries the jumper. And that's a double-double for him now. 11 points and 10 assists. Outside Curry. Back to Paul from outside the arc. And it's Aiton with the rebound. Aiton's got 13 rebounds in the game. Seeded. Ball against Henderson. And Henderson throws it down hard. And Kevin, even though they're down, he's still looking to do the spectacular. And he did. Well, maybe this is the best time to do it. Now here's Curry. And he wills that one in. Sinking right through off the back iron. And Chris Paul is going to find anybody that's leaning the wrong way, let alone leaving an open man. Murray kicks to Brogdon. Aiton at the elbow. Back to Brogdon. And no good. Great tee that time from Green. Tipped away. Stolen by Grant. And here we go. Fast break. Henderson's got it. Here's Brogdon. Good for basket number six from him in the contest. He's shooting six for 12. And so it's Paul bringing it up for the Warriors. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. He's covered by Grant. Rebound by the Trailblazers. Grant's got rebound number five here tonight. Well, there's more he could have done in this game for sure, but it hasn't kept them from pulling ahead. Murray, the pass to Aiton. Over Paul. And it's Aiton missing. Warriors leading by nine. Here's Wiggins. And he comes up with the deuce. And that's now 25 points for Andrew Wiggins. Making the easy shots and the tough shots. He's on top of his game. Wide open look here for Murray. And good. Coming on the assist by Brogdon. Well, the size that Brogdon has at the point guard, a good job of finding somebody over the top. Outside Curry. Back to Paul. On the wing, Green. He's covered by Aiton. No one near Curry as he lets it go. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their passing. Henderson kicks to Brogdon. Murray scanning the floor. Passes it to Henderson. Five to shoot. 
over Paul. They get the rebound. That's good, and the Warrior lead is cut down to 10, and the bucket from Aiton. And all those second chance points have given them a boost here in the second half, and that's a great way to cut into the lead. To the paint. And Paul gets it to go in. And the Warriors lead by 12. Chris Paul not afraid to go inside, play amongst the trees, and still find a way to score. Rocked in against Curry. Back to Murray. No one near him. Tries again. And Aiton with the layup. Aiton's got four points in the quarter. And he has started to turn it on now after that slow start. Paul kicks to Green. Back to Paul. Stolen by Grant. Pass to Aiton. Terrific assist. A nice finish. Solid play all around. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling time out, time out. to contain it. Timeout called the Warriors. We're on the lookout for the loudest fans. We'd like a free t-shirt tonight. And now, let's present our new balance player of the game. And Kevin, it's a no-brainer. He's controlled every aspect of this game and it's just so fun to see a player perform at a level that's just higher than anyone else out on the floor and at last he gets a little redemption you know it's been several games since he's been at his best he's really been having a tough time and now we've got some time to check in from the sidelines you got for us da hey guys i was able to catch the message steve kerr gave to his team he said keep grinding we're in good shape things aren't always going to go perfectly don't let that slow you down. Let's just stick to what got us here. Kevin, we'll see if they can build on this lead. Thanks, David. All right, well, I'll look at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for the Warriors. I mean, they've been stepping it up in terms of their shooting from distance, and the confidence has been there all game long, leaving the defense to scramble. And I feel like there's been an old-school aspect to what they've done tonight, and that is pounding the ball inside, getting it down low, getting those looks in close. That's been effective. Now here's Henderson. Wiggins with some nice D. I don't think the defense does enough out there to bother him. I think that one's all on him. Just a flat-out miss. Back to Green. Outside Curry. Two minutes in the game. Two minutes. Shoots over Grant. Curry can't get it to go. Well, Mid-range is where he makes the money. So when the D's slow to get out on him, always surprising to see him miss from there. Aiton, the pass to Henderson. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. That one on Thompson. Personal foul. First team foul. At the line for your trailblazers. Henderson taking two break, shots. Break, break. Two shots. And the first of two, no good. Heartbreaker. And he ends up making the second, and that brings them within single digits. Now the team struggling to come back. He really wanted all of those free throws. Curry against Henderson. Curry kicks to Thompson. Now the pass to Wiggins. That's in, coming off the assist from Thompson. Thompson's got three assists tonight. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. 
Yeah, pretty infectious right here. Guys in good spirits and percentages from downtown on the rise in the second half. And, and so only Green one team answered Green the bell tonight, guys. Not a monster blowout by any means, but still a double-digit victory for the Warriors. They had a fantastic play from the bench. And this team has great depth, and they showed it in this game. And so the hard work and effort paying off tonight, putting another win in the books. That'll be win number 27. And once they polish off this win, they'll be one more victory away from sweeping the season series. And a lot of players tonight helped contribute to this performance. But in particular, a real good game it was for Andrew Wiggins. Well, the tone was set by him defensively tonight, recorded a number of blocks, and that was a big difference maker, intimidating the other team. And that one's good by Henderson. You don't want to ever give up points on the boards. That's the lesson for the team there. That's a hustle play to save points. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Thompson passes to Curry. Golden State moving it around. Back to Thompson. Shoots the three. Another three for three, Golden Thompson. State. Finishing strong. This is how you want to close things out. Yeah, definitely putting a stamp on this one. A very, very decisive victory for the club tonight. So we see the Warriors taking the game here. A solid win on the road for them. This building was dead silent by the time GA this one wound down. And that's what we want to do. Take the crowd out of it by crunch time. Don't give them any chance to lift their team up at the